I think we are live, guys. Negranu, Polk, heads up, showdown, day 13, $596,000 is the current lead for Mr. Doug Polk, the Supreme Leader, aka 6PP, aka SX, aka the man, the myth, the legend, Doug Polk versus Day Negrano, aka Real Kid Poker, aka Cocaine Dan, aka debatably one of the biggest legends of poker of all time. They're facing off, heads off. This is day 13. That's right, they played 13 days, 5,070. 5,751 hands. We're here. We're live Monday. And uh, we're joined today by my man. As usual, we got Mr. Cat Jam, a.k.a. Landon Tice, a.k.a. Debatably the best 21-year-old heads with player in the world. And we got beat by Doug Polk for four buy-ins before the stream got started. <laughs> and as you guys can see, we are seeing some action on the screen. But we are joined by my man, Chance Corneth. Chance has uh, been playing the Galfond Challenge. He's been taking on my man, Phil Galfond. And he's currently... In the lead in the match, he's up $92,000 after 16,000 hands. That match resumes tomorrow. I brought Chance in here. We're going to hear him talk some Nolan Hold'em. Big shout out to Chance for joining. Chance, how's it going, my friend? What's going on over there, man? Great, bro. How are you? Happy to, happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, man, we are. Uh, we, so you're you're playing a Pot Limit Omaha. You're playing the great game of Pot Limit Omaha Heads Up Challenge right now. How do you think you're, I mean, listen, we know you're a Nolan Hold'em. You've been playing a long time. you got great results. High, high, you play high stakes for cash games. You play... Uh, all the tournaments, you got chip leader coaching going on, but how do you feel like your heads up Nolan Hold'em cash game is right now? Um, probably, I mean, worse than both of these guys, but I definitely used to play quite a bit of heads up no limit. Um, I thought overbetting was fun, you know, one of the one things we don't have to do in the great game. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if Landon tells me how terrible I am. Well, we're in, Landon doesn't do that. He's very, he's a very sweet guy. We already seen some big pots here, guys. Left hand side, Daniel bets the turn, bets the river rather, and gets raised by Mr. Doug Polk. So we'll get back into this action here, guys. We are live on YouTube. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I see a bunch of people in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well, and we appreciate you very much for tuning in. Thank you to everybody out there who's been uh, posting in the comments on YouTube. You guys are super nice, super sweet. Uh, anytime I'm, I feel like I'm down, I go read the comments. You guys are awesome. And uh, thank you very much, guys. It's going to be a fun match today. We got three streams this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Landon will be in Austin, Texas, uh, trying to get some oil money down there. So I will be uh, doing the commentary and maybe we'll have a guest on there for you. We're going to see what happens here. But are you excited to go down to Austin? Are you excited to check out Texas poker? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what's up. We're kind of... You'll see what's up. We'll okay, well, up. that's yeah, that, that's about it, right? Yeah. We're going to see what happens. Chance, you've been Should down to Texas. You've seen the thing. Texas poker down there? Chance is looking at the action. Left-hand side three bet here from Daniel. <laughs> Can you share your screen, buddy? Oh, is it not shared? No, you got to share it on Zoom. Oh, well, that makes sense. The YouTube one's a little delayed. Yeah, yeah, YouTube one is delayed. Yeah, let's get it on here. Hold on a second. Cool. <laughs> Oh, actually, three and three bit on the left hand table, guys. We're getting set up here a little bit here. Checks on the jack seven five makes sense. Like Daniel likes using like twenty five or seventy five percent pot in this kind of spot. Like it's weird because we've seen like a lot of like three quarters pot size bets on like ten high and lower boards, but then like this board's kind of connected and like helps Doug a good bit more than Daniel. But Daniel's gonna have more like jack x and over pairs. So if he does decide to bet, he probably choose like a one third sizing if he did. But I mean, going two thirds can't be the end of the world either. Checks again. He might be trapping here, Joey. He you think? Be, you think be, Daniel's he be already? The, he could be laying the twigs and branches here. You, you think Daniel's already? Good chance you got it up there. Yeah, yeah, we're good to all, go. All right, man. cool, 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 perfect, perfect. Let's see. Left hand side, D next three bet pre flop, C bet flop, check turn, check river. We know Daniel very capable of slow playing some hands, very capable of mixing it up. Uh, Doug loves river raising. He's a big fan <laughs> of these massive raises on the river, and we have not seen necessarily Daniel do that so far. We'll see if anything new happens, Daniel. Got absolutely crushed last session, so maybe he was in the lab all weekend and he was working on his game. We are going to find out. Daniel bets the river here about one-third pot after checking through on the turn. It's a little bit more than a third, yeah. A little more than a third. Like 40%? Speak up. Like, I'm thinking, I was thinking. Speak with your heart. <laughs> Speak with your heart. Listen to your heart. <laughs> Listen to your heart, buddy. Let's see what Doug's going to do here. When it's calling for you. <laughs> You're already singing the song. What, what, who do you think has more force here? I mean, Doug has more forwards by default just by calling a three bet than Daniel has three betting himself. So, so Daniel takes He's it down. He's sneak and take that one. Chance, what do you think are some differences between Potlum and Omaha heads up and Nolan Holden heads up as you've been playing 16,000 hands so far of Potlum and Omaha in the past couple months here? Um, just how equities um, run hot cold instead of much closer. Like, there's so many spots where, like, you have aces and, and PLO and maybe you're 
55 65% max preflop, but like in no limit, it's just way different. So how do you think that manifests itself in actual play? Um, I think that like, you're just able to go crazy in so many different no limit spots, but in PLO, like you really are bound to buy the equity and the blockers. Yeah, in Ultimate Hold'em, you can definitely go crazy. We've seen some crazy hands so far. Highlight a last match. Not only was Landon and me and my little brother doing the cat jam, but there was a very sick hand that took place between Daniel and Doug. Doug had the ace jack for ace jack high on the river. He three bet preflop, C bet flop, check, check, turn, and then called a shove on the river and he snapped off Daniel Negreanu's king queen. And left hand side, we've seen our first over bet of the match by Daniel Negreanu. Let's see what he shows up with here. He bet the uh, check back. I think he, uh, what was it? What was the flop? Min bet and then. Uh, three quarters turn and then over bet on the river. He's representing uh, at, at least two pair of better, I would assume, by that. What do you yeah. think is kind of hands that he might be bluffing there with? Like something that blocks the straight and maybe uh, what other kind of card would you want with that if you had a king or a jack with one diamond? Or would you want a diamond or not a diamond there? When flush draw breaks, it's, you don't really want diamonds just because you want your opponent to have as many flush draw combos in range as they can. So it's better to like not have flush blockers when you want them to have flush draws. And you also can't bet more than the pot in PLO, which is a big difference. Yeah, that what is. What if you that... played No Limit, like Omaha? That's what it's called. No I mean, Limit Omaha. Chance, what I've do you think about no, 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 no Limit Omaha. Omaha? What do you think about that? I've played a, like a little bit of it, to be honest. Yeah, it sounds it sounds dumb to me because if when you re <laughs> when they have aces, some of the, the bad players just shove all in. And now I'm not saying I don't like that, but I'm saying I want to snap those guys off, especially in four bet pots. <laughs> that, that would be annoying. Yeah, but it's also like, you know, you got a set, you can deny equity or like a big draw. You can have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> That's actually true. Open uh, and left... straight flush draw, Joey. All <laughs> <laughs> left hand, yeah, listen, I'm putting my life on the line with, with an open and straight flush draw if I'm go playing no and hold them there. Left hand side, we're seeing a little like, pop brewing here. I my first born in with this hand in PLO, but like, now that I'm about to have a baby, I can't really say that anymore. <laughs> Shout out to Chance's beautiful wife, Emily. She's, um, she's about to have her first child. Chance is going to be a father. Hopefully he's able to uh, do well in his challenge. Well, I guess Phil's got the kid too. I mean, so I mean, both of these guys are, are, are single fathers here. Or not single fathers, but one, single kid fathers. <laughs> single kid fathers. Left-hand side, Doug going to make a bet on the turn. 5,600. Daniel, check calls. River is the five. And we got a pot brewing. This might be our Energy first ball. back up the truck moment of the match. Sponsored by Brinks Trucks. Let's see what goes on here. Uh, I can't wait to see these graphics again. Yeah. Daniel checks the river. Right-hand side, he bets three-quarters pot. Couple of pots brewing. Can Daniel Negreanu take a lead? He has not been able to get off to a head start these past couple matches. What is Doug Polk going to do here? He does bet one third pot. Mm. He's saying he's got a flush. Yep. Let's see what Daniel Negreanu does. Can Daniel Negreanu show up here with the nine five? Can he show up here with the ace five? Do you he's think he ten. ever check raises ace five, Landon? Uh, River, well, hmm. Takes it down by Doug. Nice hand by Doug. Check raises it. Well, yeah, I mean, ace five for a boat. I think his bluff would be like ace nine. Or like hands that like block boats on flop, like bottom two pair that like unblock the five. Because that Doug is probably going to be value betting a five on the river. So it'd be like two pairs that like unblock the five. Do you think uh, Do you think Doug would value bet a naked five there with no diamond? Probably or do you think not. that's probably not okay? Yeah. Too weak of a hand? Yeah, a little weak. Too weak of he a might, hand. He might though. He might. He might. He might. I don't think so, but he might. Chance, what's it like playing one of these challenges? Because we're thinking about this from Doug and Daniel's spot. <laughs> we're thinking about from Doug and Daniel's spot. What's it like? You played 16,000 hands against one player. Do you feel like you can see inside Phil Galfon's soul right now? Like, do you I feel mean, like you and Phil Galfon like are connected just, internally? Sometimes you just feel like you got him against the ropes and like you're going to crush him. And sometimes you just think the exact opposite, that he's just got you down, beating you up. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's very emotionally swingy. It seems like it. I mean, even for a guy like, you know, Daniel Negreanu, I used to imagine him him over there with the Coke can just like going crazy these past <laughs> couple of sessions. So I don't know. It feels like very uh, the mental game, right? You got to keep it together. If you have any problems in your life with your family or your wife or your spouse, like that, that's <laughs> going to potentially fuck up your ability to focus, especially when yeah. you're day 13 and you've been doing this now for a couple of weeks. You've been doing it now for, for over like, one, what, two months now, right? Yeah, we got our 30th session on Wednesday. Yeah. You guys are intense, man. And and as we say that, we're seeing a big pot left-hand side, 10K on the river. Diamonds miss, 7-8 misses, Jack-8 misses. Backdoor trip draw does get there. A very relevant thing in the great game of Pot Limit Omaha. Not as much in Hold'em. And Daniel Negreanu shows down the queen nine. Doug is going to take that, going to lose that pot. And uh, we're still even for the day so far. Maybe Daniel's up a little bit. 
He's going to take that pot and give it to Daniel is what he's going to do with that one right there. Nice. <laughs> yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. He so is you guys pick. are both cheering for Doug, right? I, well, I mean, you I, both I, the I, money on Doug listen, a little bit. I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say, I, I'm, okay, I am. I'll be honest, right? That's my guy. Shout out to my guy. No, why not? Why would I? It doesn't make any fucking sense, right? Would you cheer for, for one of your friends? You've been friends for 10 times, 10, for over 10 years. Would you cheer for that guy? Or would you cheer for somebody else that you've known for some years and, and you know, it's, it's been friends with, been friendly with, but. Yeah, that's cut and dry for you. Yeah. For me, I just bet, or I just cheer for who I bet on, so. So you bet on Kid Poker, Mr. Danny Negreanu? Yeah, I'm getting like six to one. It's not looking so good, but fortunately it's not a super large wager. Yeah, you're you're in line, buddy. If you beat Phil Gaffon, you're in line to win $1 million. It's 250,000 to a million dollar side bet. You can win $1 million. <laughs> yeah, get, get, get the plus the, plus the extra money. I mean, that's, that ain't a bad payday, even though it's been 30 sessions so far. It's kind of, it's going to be a lot of sessions. So that seems like pretty good work for uh, uh, three, four months. Yeah. It's taken a lot longer than we expected. Like the number of hands per hour slash day is just lower than we thought it would be. Yeah. Well, these guys are playing a, a few hundred hands in a, a day. They're playing two tables. Uh, some days we get a bunch of hands. Other days, if it's two hours, we're only seeing a few hundred. So a couple of single race pots here. Nothing brewing. We have not had a, a graphic, uh, a graphic come up yet. We do. We are going to have some graphics very soon. I see the list of them on your LPS. I'm excited. Oh my God! Yeah, Chance can see behind the scenes right now. We got a lot of them yeah. here, buddy. Scroll around for me. Scroll around, baby. You want to see? You want to see what we got here in this bad boy? Yeah. Right hand side, okay. small check raised by Doug Polk, the supreme leader. Ten four deuce, two diamonds. Daniel calls pretty quickly. Turn is an ace. Three five makes the straight. Doug certainly capable of having that. Daniel playing a lot of hands on the button, capable of having three five as well. Expect to see Doug check here. No, I mean, no, no, no. Is that not a check? What do you think? That's not a check. No. That's a bet. That's a bet right there. Is Jerry. that a normal bet, or do you think you yeah. expect your opponent to check raise and then and then bet the ace high frequency at the time? It's like mostly pretty mixed, which isn't really a shock because like you can overbet on an ace representing a straight. Mm -hmm. You could bet small. Trying to keep your range wider and value by some two pairs and some ace highs that you check is on flop. Then you can also check because your opponent in position is going to stop a good bit on an ace as well. And then go for a check raise again for a double check raise. A spicy. No one's ever double check raise, buddy. We've I've not triple seen check raise before. See? <laughs> See, Joey? In, Chance knows. And it was in PLA, though. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's pretty hard to do. Left hand side, we see that did, one, did one, you, one. Did you win? Yeah, he, he snap folded. Oh, and he, yeah. he he bet a hand on the river. Of course he won. Have, of course he won. You wouldn't tell. You wouldn't tell. He would have. He he I would have shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you for sure. If I lost. You know what? I think I got the triple check race sandbag award on PTR Poker Table Ratings. Rest in peace to that. I think I did get that back in the day. There and I lost a, a lot of money in the process. There was so, an award of triple check raising. Yeah, it's called the sandbag award. <laughs> Remember wow. that chance? Love it. Yeah, it's I, even I even remember like the exact hand from ten years ago. You're a sick. You're a sick human. You're being. a sick. You're a sick. <laughs> you're a sick human, Chance. You know that. You're a sick human. Dude, Can in my defense, I check raised the bare ace of clubs blocker with top pair, and the turn <laughs> filled the flush, so I check raised again. And on the river, I actually checked to give up, and he bet like five k with like fifteen hundred behind, and I just went for it. All of it. Well, listen, guys, if we see a double check raise here or a triple check raise, I will stream one heads up, no limit hold them cash game session. Okay. When she'll be your <laughs> <laughs> Left hand side, once again, uh, Doug Polk bet and pot on that uh, high card, low card, low card, high card turn. We've seen that happen here a number of different times. Actually, over bets, but we've also seen him bet the pot too on those, those king high board textures, queen high board textures. And Daniel's going to check raise 9,600. He's saying that he has maybe a straight, maybe some two pair, most likely a straight. I think he's full of it. What do you think? I think we're about to find out potentially, Joe. I think he's just got it. I don't think. I, mean, I, I guess think... he could have like nine seven. But... Oh, oh my god! Oh no! I oh, oh, not, no not again! Not again! We but... might need the energy. No ball. no no! Give him the energy. Landon wants to send Daniel Grano some energy. Here. The, the board pairs on the river, and we he's know that. Need it here. Here we go. The energy builds. Daniel checks. He doesn't have it. He might have it. What is Doug gonna do? He might be sneaking. I don't think so. There's no way he's. You think he's disciplined enough? You think he could no. do it? No. I don't think so. Chance doesn't think so. People in the chat don't think so. Right hand side, Dnex with the three bet. Left hand side, Doug Polk faced the check raise on the turn. Called, he's all in. He shoves yeah. back up that truck. Dude, I felt the energy. I told you, didn't. come on, man. I felt the energy. Ball. And just like that, Doug Polk takes down the pot with a nice river shove. The truck is backed up just a little bit. The money a little on the side. 
and Doug Polk is going to take a nice pot there to start the match off. Just a little bit, not too much, not too little. Look at the truck move in. Look at the truck, Chance. Watch for the face. Doug Polk, the driver, <laughs> looks looks motivated to pick up that money. Pick up that money, Doug. All he's right, focused. he does pick up the money. And he's out, and he's out. And he's out, just like that. And right he's out. <laughs> Right-hand side, we see a three-bet pot pre-flop. Daniel C bets the flop. Jack Deuce three, two spades, turn, ace of clubs. Four or five gets there, but... It's going to be a good card for Daniel. Let's see what he decides to do on the turn. He does check it. And we've seen Daniel like check a lot of When it good... overhits the turn, he has such a low bet frequency. I know. I was just gonna, that's exactly what I was going to say. He does that very often on these yeah. cards that, that appear to be better for his range. He is checking at a pretty high frequency so far this match. And Daniel, uh-oh, here we go. This could be one of these. Uh, I guess Doug, this could be a spot Doug was more likely to maybe over bet the river, right, on this Brent out. That's three better. Um, we well, haven't Daniel, really seen well, Daniel, Daniel do that too often. Bad. Yeah, but we haven't really seen Daniel take that line where turn gets checked through and he decides to overbet in a three-bet pot. Yeah, Whereas no. we've seen Doug capable of doing something like that. Yeah. Let's see what Daniel does. here. usually shows up with uh, like a hand with pretty nice showdown, right? King, queen, ace, 10, ace, eight, something of that nature. Maybe capable of showing up with like a jack, 10 here. You could have some king jacks here. Yeah. Yeah. And he calls ace, queen, Ooh. see? Yeah, I mean, oh, that, you mean that's, oh, yeah, 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 Daniel. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what he's been doing in these sort of spots with those hands like that. A few times we saw him do that earlier. He had like ace, eight, ace, nine, ace, he's seven. He's trying to catch like the young man speeding. Well, he did. He, he did. caught him. Seven, six suited. Nice pot there for Daniel Negreanu. Set the trap. I saw it coming. I don't know. I'm just saying I saw it coming, <laughs> Chance. Okay? <laughs> you saw it. Yeah, he doesn't like to really bet those, those like top, those no. like one pair of hands like that. I mean, of course, it, it is sample size, and we haven't necessarily seen many go to showdown, but... It is something interesting to note. We popping eddies today, guys, or what? Chance, we doing edibles today, or what? <laughs> now nah, I quit the THC train maybe four or six months ago now. You know what? We're going to see this hand on the left-hand side. <laughs> D -net, D -net. Well, I'm not quitting. I'm all in. Left-hand side. I'm Doug with quitting. the raise on the river. He gets snap call. He's got the ace side flush. And here we go. Here we go, guys. The match is going to begin. Dun, Doug dun, Polk dun, 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 backs dun, dun, up that dun, truck. Dun, dun. It's too early for a fire, but we got... We got a little, we got, we got, we got something. We got, it's starting to brew a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to brew. What are you looking at? The fucking edible? What's the yeah. smoke screen? Look? Oh, there it is. I see it now. Smoke screen. Doug's yeah. bubbling a little bit, Chance. You know Doug. He's bubbling up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nice pot there for Mr. Doug Polk. Left so hand one side. one of the things, I was, I was talking to Action Freak before my match. And he said that, like, heads up is, like, an incredibly mental game and feels incredibly strong mentally. Which, in hindsight, had I thought about that when I was wagering, like, I'm not sure that d is, like, I mean, after the WSOP tilt fiasco, like, it's hard to imagine that he's going to be able to handle these swings. I mean, you know what, Chance? That's a great point. It really is. I think that um, we've seen Daniel, certainly. I mean, we think he's got strong mental game. He's been around for a long time. But heads up, as you said, a different story. And, uh, yeah, it's it really easy to lose your cool, especially when you're not necessarily an expert in a lot of these situations. So when there's some close spots and your mental game isn't there all the way, yeah, you know, that's when you, that's when you really need it. You start making big mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly or right. It's just like, I feel like another part of it is like, you could make a play that's not actually a mistake, but it doesn't work out, but it feels like a close enough spot mm -hmm. to where like you get like some negative feedback and then you think it's a bigger mistake than it is, which then leads to even more mistakes. Yeah, that's uh ba bow ba 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 never good. Daniel McGrath, <laughs> three bit on the left-hand side. That's so true though. I know. <laughs> yeah, like we haven't had any like feedback as far as the hands we've played on on social. Like, you know, we, I'm sure we both go to our like teams and support staffs, if you will, and ask them like their opinions and they tell us we torched it. But like, it's gotta be much harder when you get a, 500 people on Twitter telling you how much you suck. Yeah, man, that that's got to be the worst thing to have to challenge. You, you lose, you lose 100,000, and you go on Twitter like you you yeah. suck, dude. You suck. Fucking, You're fucking, not good. What are you fucking raising for? Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, that just sounds terrible. I I I left hand side. We got a three bet. Doug Polk bets that quarter pot as Daniel checks to him. Daniel check calls turns a nine. Daniel certainly is capable of showing up here with a hand like a seven six nine ten. Some over cards as well too. Ace king, ace queen, ace. Doug seems yeah. to have a high barrel frequency in these spots. On the uh, on the scary on this quarter card that connects better on with his range. On well, the I scary mean, card. I'm using I'm three that check card. I understand. I, sakes, I mean, it is a scary card. You're, it, yeah, I'm scared. That's of the card. a scary card. That's it's, a scary card. That's a scary <laughs> card right there. You better be fucking. This it's Halloween Town right now. Scary time. Okay. Ace Halloween Town. Town. For scary, scary turns and rivers, Jay. <laughs> Halloween Town on the river here. Let's see if he <laughs> decides. And he does. He is going to bet. There it is. See the he's Halloween bet. Turning that 7-6 into a bluff. 
Is he? I don't know. He's probably going to ace 10. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Doug, he does fold. Daniel takes it down. Nice hand. So Daniel fighting back here today, guys. Right hand side, another three bet. As you can see, if you guys are unaware of what's happening, this is a very aggressive match. Daniel, uh, the last few matches, he's been ramping up the three betting percentage. He showed up with some real DO double G hands. Is it maybe time to maybe not ramp up the three? Maybe we don't three bet the seven six off suit. Like, is this maybe is this something that maybe Daniel should consider adjusting, or or do we keep our foot on the gas with the seven six zero? What do you think? I mean, I think that Daniel's trying to win by out adjusting Doug because he's clearly not going to have the edge in theory. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes sense. So you think Daniel thinks he can out adjust him by putting the seven six offsuit in three bet range? <laughs> well, for example, like forty percent in three bet pots, and even on some turns and rivers I've seen so far. Like I watched some of the earlier sessions and didn't see any forties. Well, we're gonna find out what he does here. He has that eight hundred. We have not seen that eight hundred until last session of this match. So right hand side three bet pre flop check check flop turn check raise by Mister Doug Polk facing that eight hundred dollar bet. We normally saw Daniel bet 400 or bet three quarters pot, and now he started adding in the $800 bet. And Doug's going to barrel his turn. 1851, nice small bet. A654, 7 8 gets there. It's kind of a scary card, Joey. Halloween Town, we're going to it. <laughs> Michael Myers in the house. <laughs> dun, dun. I don't know. I don't know the sound. Let's see what happens. scaring chance away. See, look how scary we are. Chance to get scared there. So here we go, guys. Left hand side. Doug Polk check raise flop. Bets turn. River is a six. Let's see if Daniel decides to value bet his ace. Nope, he's got five eight, and he does take that pot down with the five eight. Doug Polk getting a little out of line with the backdoor backdoor Bangkok. Yeah, the backdoor not flushed. I know. Good, good check raise, standard. Yeah, yeah. yeah back straight back draw, backdoor flush draw. He picked up a pair, so he has like worse hands in his range that he wants to bluff with, and he beats some showdown sometimes, but not really. Just kind of sucks when you have like one of those like middly hands where like you never really win, but bluffing seems kind of a little bit insane too. Like he'd rather pick up a hand that gives him a straight draw or a spade, so he blocked enough flush and have like a pretty solid bluff, rather than have like a pretty marginal showdown hand. But you can't really bluff with those. At least not in like the theory. The theory perspective and that's what we're going for here a little bit well that's what i know that's what doug's trying to do doug's trying to be a theory guy yeah doug's well, well, after. it looks like he's doing well, <laughs> he's doing well. <laughs> he landed and doug played a match actually before not, the stream got that's started that's how'd like, it go landon tell he, us about he it got, he got us you down eight that you lost eight thousand in supreme layer you, you think the guy need more money or what no the guy owns about was, a, uh, 55 million bitcoin you were trying to get some money you decided this is my spot the supreme no, leader I, sitting down the guy's <laughs> in the groove he's playing this is the guy you want to play yeah i mean i just want to get after it i love it i love the fucking heart kid <laughs> we're listen guys there's three guys Something right here that got a lot of heart scary, okay i'll tell you sure. that right now me chance and, and landon three crazy people want to come to the great <laughs> game people. of poker man listen this is a lot of this is millions of hands this is millions of hours in the lab here so uh is it millions absolutely well no probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Millions going. Left hand side, we see a three bet from Daniel Negrano. C bets flop. Turn is the jack. Straight draws all miss. Flush draws get there. None of them got a flush. A great, they they a good, never a, show up with the flush. It's so a great day to be alive. Flushes, huh, <laughs> what do you say, Chance? Who has more flushes here? Uh, Doug Polk. Nope, Daniel Negrano. Doug has them all. No, Daniel Negrano has more suited cards pre flop here. Yeah. Did he three bet? Yeah, he three bet. Well, Doug has more. Well, three bet, C bet. I would assume there's some flush draw combos that Doug's raising the flop with. Yeah, for sure. So there's that's going to take a lot out. Queen seven for Doug Polk. He's got the third pair. Takes down the pot. Five three suited. Daniel Garner three bets the five three suited. Flops back door straight draw on that middle pair. Bets flop. Check check turn. Check check river. And Doug wins a nice pot. We got my man Pico Johnson with the five donation. Thank you, Pico, Mr. Checkmark man. <laughs> the heavy checkmark. Mr. Heavy checkmark. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> Left-hand side, three-bet pre-flop by Doug Polk. These guys are getting after it today. I expect to see some big pots. Yeah, I would expect to see some big <laughs> pots too, Joey. <laughs> We're getting them ready to go. Bow, bow. The big pots are brewing. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. You feel it? Chance, you feeling it? This is it? Yeah, they're gonna. They're starting to go to war. I love I, it. I mean, they really are, dude. Is this what happens? Like 13 days in, you guys just start ramping up the three-bet percentages and... The aggression just ramps up because you think you know the other person so well, or, or, or why do you think it's, we're seeing it's so a lot much of card aggression? distribution? Like, say you're like in PLO, say you're three betting 17% of the deck, um, and then all of a sudden one day you're playing 500 hands and then you just get 200 of them or three bets. I see what you're saying. I see what yeah, you're saying. So yeah, like maybe Phil and I have had days where it's just like 
absolute three bet best. And those, those are my favorites. You really get to think and go to war. Yeah, I mean, listen, anytime, I think people don't realize that don't play a ton of Hold'em, how different single race pots and three bet pots are. Like it, it might intuitively seem like the same game, but no. it's not the same game. No. It's actually a much different game. Yeah. And I imagine a lot of Nolan Holm players out there really struggle because they don't, they don't even know that it's actually different. And they should maybe think about it a little bit differently. And they don't know how drastically different they should think about it too. So it's uh, that that's probably a light bulb moment for some people out there. And so I would recommend if you're studying, if you're talking with your friends, or if you're talking with your group, make sure you treat those three bed pots as different than single race pots. And also put a lot more focus on them too, because the, sing the three bed pots is where you're typically playing a lot of really big situations. So you probably want to be spending a little bit more time on those versus only grinding and, and thinking about single race pots. Yeah. Sounds like you've thought about this a lot, Joe. Sounds like I've thought about this a lot. And listen, once in a while, once in a while kid. Part of his million hours in the lab, you know? <laughs> that shirt. I'm loving this shirt, buddy. It looks mm. good. This is a sick I shirt. The, yeah, I know. I you got want to show him the shirt? Show him the shirt. It's, it's a cat shirt. It's a beautiful Wait, shirt. Look at all these cats. Wait, let me see. Look at so, like nine of them. Boom. Yeah, it's like a it's Warhol. Like Vegas one. Yeah. It's like a Warhol. Show, go, go up, zoomed up. Zoom. Why don't you? Why don't, here? I'll post a photo on my Instagram story at Poppy GTO. If you want to see Landon's beautiful cat shirt, <laughs> you can go there right now. <laughs> right hand side, another three bet takes it down. It's the commentary cat shirt. The commentary cat shirt. Yeah. Amen. 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 Nothing going on Glory here, guys. Be to God. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> Chip Leader Coaching. Nice shirt, Chance. Look at that branding. Thank you. Look at this marketing by my man Chance Corneth over here with the Chip Leader Coaching shirt. Nice chip in the middle. Dare I say G T O stamp there. of approval, baby. Nice job. <laughs> nice. We approve. We approve. I should have pulled all the trophies and bracelets in behind me, but you should though. listen. It's actually. <laughs> A crime that you don't have more trophies and bracelets. I've been to your house recently, and what? the trophies need to be more in in the middle. I see more there. I know more you've got a lot of trophies. More trophies are better. Look at those fucking trophies. My God, I need to get some trophies. I got a couple of trophies in the back. I got a trophy. Right hand side three bet pre flop by Dana Grana. Pay attention, guys. King nine five rainbow D nex bets thirty two hundred. Looks like he is. Uh, we haven't seen that size too much in these last matches. We've already seen it a couple times today, and the six on the turn. Couple two pairs get there. Nine, six, five, six, seven, eight gut shot gets there. Can we start betting some fucking turns, Dan? Daniel, please bet the turn. And he does bet the turn. Me. Wow, asking you shall receive, huh, Joey? Nice hand there. Nice hand by Daniel. So maybe he's listening to the commentary. He realized he's under betting those turns and he decided to to go with it there. Or maybe he had seven, six. I don't know. We got any Daniel friends in the chat or uh, fans? Do we have any Daniel Grano fans in the chat? Please type one if you're a Daniel Grano fan. My man, Anderson Urban, Urban, Urbano, what's up, buddy? Nice to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, brother. Hope your job's going well. Right-hand side, Dean Eggs kicks it up with the three-bet once again. No four-bet so far, guys. You guys know four-bet alert. We'll be getting it. We'll be getting that smoke kind of firing up for you here. We got to be coming up, especially with this higher three-bet frequency. You're right. That, that's, we haven't seen Doug Polk last match. It seems like he kind of goes in spurts with the four-bets. We sometimes, if... Yeah. When Daniel starts really ramping it up, then Doug it will hit in a couple like four bets. when he thinks Daniel's tilted, Doug four bets a lot more. Yeah, that makes sense. If Daniel's three bet frequency seems to increase a lot. Mm -hmm. We have we have a lot of Dan Grano fans in the chat right now. A lot of ones are out there. Some zeros. Yeah. I don't know what you guys were thinking. I didn't I didn't ask for twos. I just said ones. I didn't. You don't need to tell me if you don't like them. I don't mind that. <laughs> yes, one. Yeah, we asked for one. I mean, the guy's the guy's a legend of the game, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta appreciate the the poker background he brings to the game. The guy's a, a fucking legend of the game. He's been mm -hmm. around playing for twenty some years. He's playing debatably one of the best heads up home players of all time right now. And uh, oh no, we got logged out again. Fuck me. Oh no. Oh no. All right, guys, hold on. We gotta fix this real quick. Hold on. We gotta go. Oh my god, we gotta fix this. Hold on a second, guys. Ay ay ay. ay. You might have to drop the Zoom call. Yeah, there. I know. I'll be, I'll be right back in a second, my friends. Do, 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 do. How did this happen? You didn't click the button. I know. I really didn't click the button. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on a second, guys. We just got to set a timer for how often to click it. Yeah, I know. Hold I think on it's a second, 10 guys. minutes. Let me pull it back up here. All right. There we go. Yeah, why do people hate the guy? I don't understand anyway. I think he's fun. Sorry guys, technical difficulties right now. WSOP for randomly will log you out when uh, when you're when you're we shouldn't be logged out. So it kind of fucks things up when you're trying to watch. We got to be more aware of that over here on this right hand side. Let's pull these back up. 
Ba -ba 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 -ba. God, thank God I'm a pro at this. Fuck me. Wait, no, not a pro. Do it. Please. Please, for love of God. Bam. Just like that, we're back. All right, cool. Expert. <laughs> just like that, huh? Amen. Look at that. Okay, God, you, know, you imagine that production team in the back, you got to yell at them, they start panicking, stuff like that. You got to keep your cool. Well, we got to get back in the Zoom call with Chance. That's what you got to do. I know. We're keeping our cool. Call to action, but you got it. Pick yeah. it up. Pick it up. Daniel raises it on a turn, and he takes it. He takes it. He takes it down. We're getting Chance back in the booth right now. Yeah. Hold on a second. I sense a dog three bet. Yeah, I know. JD says, damn, Joey, tech problem. I know. There it is. I sense the three bet. There it is. Another three bet from Doug Polk. These guys are ramping it up completely here. And uh, oh. we're, we're not, we're, we are seeing, we are seeing them fold at a, at a pretty decent frequency to these three bet preflops. How many hands do you think you're folding preflop land into to the three bets? A lot. Many, many hands. You many open, hands. You open like 80% and they're, they're probably three betting around like 20%-ish, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more. So you're like folding a good bit. It's not like PLO where you just call all hands in position no. three bets. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Look at that guys. No. Listen, no. smash no. the thumbs up for that on the fly production by, by your man, big poppy over here. Join him one, AKA poppy GTO, AKA Chicago, Joey, AKA I this weekend was, was this weekend was fun is interesting. AKA forgot to click on back after oh, this. Oh, four bet. Four uh oh, bet. Er, 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 er. four bet alert. Right hand table, Dana Grano, our first four bet of the match. The smoke fires up. We've Ooh. seen Doug Polk very happy to call these four bets out of position. Very happy to call. In fact, seems to really enjoy calling four bets out of position. Yeah, his frequency unfolding seems super low to this. Yeah, and he does. He does go ahead and he makes the call nine eight four two spades. Here could be a lead. We could see a dog lead. Last time we saw him lead, he had the top pair and he ended up smacking off Daniel <laughs> when Daniel made the jack on the turn. If you remember that hand from last session, it was a pretty glorious hand. That was quite the glorious hand. And Daniel's gonna bet forty four hundred after four betting pre flop. The smoke I don't see is fired the sizing on this texture. You can kind of get away with like range betting a quarter. You can also truck back sometimes too but it seems like you want to kind of get all the money in on the turn because there's you want to like deny well here oh, we go doug polk check is. raises guys oh, eleven thousand. pay attention the truck attempting to be backed up our first big pot of the session could be coming in we hear the truck sound <laughs> doug polk <laughs> what hands oh, all in all in and he snapped oh. folds ay 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 dana granu sixty seven thousand dollar pot and my friends I think that Dana Grano is currently in the lead for today's you need session. You understand that everything you do at the poker table conveys information. You can't be like all loosey goosey having a sandwich. On we your throw phone. on the Tesla truck. You know what? We might have to if he wins another pot. Right hand side, three bet. <laughs> Left hand side, C bet by Doug Polk. Takes it down. I want to see that Doug lose big pot. Here we go. Uh oh, he might be steaming. Oh, the four bet. He might be steaming. He might be steaming. The supreme leader. No, takes it down. <laughs> I don't really like. I don't know if he'd bluff after. Like it could look like he's steaming. You know. You think it's one of those perfect spots where you Steam, should be? Yeah, yeah, I, think yeah. it I think it actually reduces frequency and no limit. But I don't know. Oh really? You know, it's so funny whenever you go, uh, whenever you're playing like at the casino and you play against a guy and, and you bust him off a big pot and then you three, three bets or four bets the next hand. He just never has it. He never has it. But he might sometimes. But the thing is, they do have it once in a while and you're like, man, come on, what's going on here? It's just like, ah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, the, I think like at a higher level, the, it goes down and then flips again. Like it's, it's just like trying to figure out what level everyone's on. It's so fun. I love poker, man. It's been, uh, the action here in Vegas has been kind of popping off a little bit. Uh, some rooms are shutting down. Some rooms are firing. Landon over here, you might know. It seems like a year ago, but he did took down his first tournament a couple weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, he's not taking down a tournament again. I don't know what happened to the kid. He used to have a lot of ability. He used to have a lot of heart. And, wow, uh, look at that river for D-Dags. Nice hand. Nice hand. What's up with another tournament when you haven't won one yet? In a couple weeks. I haven't played one. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you played that one, right? Yeah, I got 68. I know. You were, I know. We thought he was going to win that one, too. Painful. How conf how does it feel that people are like really think that you've got a good chance to just back to back live tournaments like that? It feels bad when it doesn't come to the <laughs> I know. It feels <laughs> fucking brutal, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait till you till you take down like some massive event. 
And I, I mean, I mean, I just it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glory. I'll just say wherever glorious you're at, too. I'm coming over the rail as kid. Okay. <laughs> Right hand side here, guys. Dean Eggs, three bet pre flop, C bet 676. He's sizing up here a little bit, 6,200. Let's see what he does here, Chance. Two diamonds. Doug Polk just calls three of diamonds on the turn. Four or five gets there. Hmm. Flush gets there. What's Daniel going to do? He's going to check a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. <laughs> Not just from a GTO perspective, but from a land on the ground you perspective. Kid landing on the house over here. Calls for the check. Gets the check. Let's Jim, see what Doug. Maybe talking about small, like third. Please don't do anything. Check back too. He's going to bet. Yeah, oh, wow. The check back. Check back is real. And he does check back here, guys. This is kind of a scary card. Kind this of is some Halloween town. Halloween on the river for Danny Negreanu. Let's see what he does. If he exercises his Michael Myers option to stab Doug Polk out of this hand, <laughs> he does not. And over that left hand side. Do we know if he's like been balanced on his timings? Probably not. It's a great, great question. <laughs> it's a great, I'm glad you brought that up. It's a great question. I actually don't know. <laughs> My man Chance is, uh, you know, Mr. He, I, I don't know, man. This guy, this guy's locked the fuck in when it comes to the live reads and timing tells. So when I, if I'm playing live, Pat Manohov with Chance at the table, I'm sure he's picking up away. on you a lot of things away. that, look that look I don't him. even don't know I'm him. putting out there. So don't look at him. Not the guy you want to be at the table with when it comes to... Uh, if you're, hey, if you're, don't tell him, guys. Come on, don't tell him. Yeah. Joey. Actually, he's dog shit at it. He's like, he's, he, <laughs> Actually, he's fucking staring at him. He always gets the wrong read. He's something, I mean, he thinks he knows one time. Yeah, Stare at man, me, listen. try to trick me. Uh... <laughs> Left-hand table, another three bet. King Jack 10. Daniel Seabets takes it down. Nice hand. Uh, Ray Vork said, could Doug ever think about limping? Question Landon. Probably not. No. Like, the game she's just too big as it is. Like too intricate as it is, and like you're not really gaining that much EV by like constructing a limping strat, I don't think. Because if it was worth it, he'd probably be doing it. Okay. You know? Chance, what do you think about the idea of limping if you're in a heads up challenge and you're up a lot of money? <laughs> I mean, do you think aren't you just trying to maximize your EV in that situation? Or unless it's the end of the challenge and then maybe you're trying yeah. to preserve the win. I mean, at the end of the challenge, it's like you sacrifice EV to reduce variance. But like that's something that Phil and I, the biggest difference we have to our approach in the PLO match so far is that I am limping buttons and he's not. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is quite uh, something to notice. We, we didn't see, I think the last matches, I don't think we saw a ton of limping on the button overall from either action dealer or Venny VD. I can't quite remember. I mean, I know on action the last freak, action, action freak. freak. Dealer. That's me. Oh, yeah, just, just a little bit at the <laughs> end. <laughs> that's me, Joey. I didn't play them. You're kind yeah, of an Phil's, ca Phil's capable of adding limps. He definitely added some against one of the two opponents. I think it was Benny. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously that last three. that last day that we did commentary on back in the day. I mean, it seems like it was 25 years ago. It was actually like in May. And uh, once that, once Phil completed that epic comeback against uh, Benny Vidi, I remember there was a lot of weird hands going on with limping. And the whole entire dynamic of the match was different because it was so close. Yeah. So my man, uh, Keen, Kino, Akinahora in the chat, he says, what's up, boys? What's up, big guy? What's happening? He says, no little bro today. No. Guys, I gotta. I almost have to tell you something. It's about my little brother. He's, I, I, he said, I can't even fucking tell you, man. This is crazy. He, he went back home, man. He went back home, but he said him and the, him and the boys in Discord have a little thing they do. Okay. okay. I shouldn't even brought this up. It's really, it's really fucking weird. Well, now you got it. You're the only us, one that keeps talking about it, Joey. It's really yeah. weird. And I'll talk about it later, okay? Once we, if we see a hundred thousand dollar pot, I'll tell you what he does in the Discord, okay? Does he yanni yanni and catch him with his friends? Is he better? No, they exchange. Whatever. Let me just pick up the action. Left hand side. <laughs> Chance is like, what are you talking about? What's going on? <laughs> I was on the Look at Chance, seat, man. Yeah. Chance been grinding the gym over. Look at those fucking biceps, kid. What's happening over there, man? Look at those. Oh my yeah. god. I mean, I know you got the setup. You working with the trainer, right? You still working with the trainer? Yeah, different one though. Different trainer. Okay. Yeah, I had a uh, Daniel and Anderson's. Uh, my husband Corey. Okay, um, cool. He was training me for that big workout bet that I had, um, but that is just the the guy injured his spine, so we're not doing that anymore. So I'm yeah, just doing my gonna, normal trainer now. That's gonna take you out, left hand side, Dean Eggs. <laughs> gonna take you. Two, that two is pair definitely the going to take you out. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we, you know, that's yeah, true. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had a spine injury at 21 years old? No. How do you feel with your parents gone? They were just in town. It's relaxing. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Landon's family, very fun, very loud, very boisterous. It's uh, Landon almost got into a fight with his brother. It was kind of interesting to see. I would have taken you in the fight. If you if you and your brother fought, I, I think you would have 
he would handle things. It's a good bet. You're like a brick house kid. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> this kid's fucking all steel. Six six all no, steel no, right here. No, no, no. <laughs> we got the marshmallow. Left, right hand side. We are seeing a pop brewing here, guys. Overbet on the river for oh. Daniel Negrano, eighteen point nine. Spicy. He's saying that he has at least Ace King plus, or would he do this with a hand like Ace Jack? I mean, they're both pretty, pretty much the same in this yeah. situation. Same thing. You don't think you think Ace, yeah. King, Ace Jack, Ace King are same? Do you think those are overbet hands, guys? Well, I'm just saying if you're going to overbet one, they're all the same because your opponent's three betting the others. Mm -hmm. Do you think he would overbet Ace King? Mm. I feel like it's more likely to be like a two pair that unblocks the ace. Yeah, I agree. That makes sense. Like so a nine, he, like a nine ten on river. That makes a thing. lot of sense. Okay, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. He's gonna do that so that way, that way Doug can call more more aces. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So right like hand you just side. Want your opponent to have natural bluff catchers in those spots. Another overbet from Dan. Oh. Daniel. I mean, I don't know what's happening, guys. We have not seen as many overbets from Daniel Negrano at any session so far, and but we've already seen multiple ones. It's here. So. Maybe over I don't the weekend. Think you can reel Daniel out. Like I know the guy who's coaching him pretty well, and there's probably some some cool stuff. Like these adjustments are kind of what I expected to see. Well, let's see how they work out. He is up about a buy-in so far. It's a bold so. strategy. Let's see how it plays out. It's a bold strategy. <laughs> <laughs> bold strategy cut. Yeah. Uh, right hand side three bet pre flop. Well, this guy. This match is fucking crazy today, guys. I don't know what's happening here. These two are. Uh, these two are definitely going after it. Brent P says over under 275 bench press for Chance. Well, over. I don't think Chance is benching that much. Like, he's not rep. He's not just, one rep. You're not repping. You're not trying to bench press a lot of weight, are you? In your workouts? No. It's like we're getting old. No, I'm only out. trying to look good with my shirt off, bro. I don't care about getting strong. 300. He's, he ain't trying to hit that 300 mark. That's that three. Juice Man 315. <laughs> Shout out to Juice Man 315. Back that's, in the day, my that's max, Joe, that's 335 Joey. in that's the gym. Joey. Listen, not a surprise, 335 in the gym, kid. You know what I'm saying? On the bench. It's, no, it's, it's <laughs> fucking, it's way under, boys. Aye, 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 aye. Shout out to Landon's mom. I know she's out there in the chat <laughs> watching somewhere. You know, shout out to Landon's brothers and sisters. Very nice. That's, a, that's the transition away from Juice Man 315. <laughs> that's the transition, huh? Okay. <laughs> right hand side. Daniel, what is this guy? This guy's crazy today, Chance. What's happening here? He's three bet like 40% of the hands so far. That's my boy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what Doug. Hit him with a four bet, Doug. He just calls. Hit five, five, three. Four. Yeah, Negrano. How much do you think Negrano benches with that tank top he's wearing? I think he's up about at least like 400. <laughs> Those biceps 4, that tan. I think that tan puts it up at least 35 pounds. <laughs> you got to make a gif of Daniel working out when he like when, when he three bets. <laughs> He's an idea guy, you know. We need Chance on the team. You're hired. You're hired, Chance. Uh, listen, Chance, very smart guy. Okay, if he wasn't, if he wasn't completely focused on poker in his business, he would. Uh, I'm sure he'd be doing very well at uh, many, many other things. So, right hand, right hand side, we see a turn, three bet pot. Daniel bets flop. Doug calls, turns the deuce, ace four, four six. Get there. Looks like he bet three quarters. Yep, bet three quarters, and now we have another three quarter bet. Big bet here from from Kid Poker, Daniel Granu. His SPR is going to be quite interesting on River because, like, Doug's going to only have, like, how much behind? He's going to have about, what, 30,000 behind on the River, 35K pot. So, like, yeah, it would be like a two thirds pot size bet on the River for all in. And he does, but he's Daniel. Gonna sneak and Let's take go. Him. Dude, Daniel, I golf mean. Golf clap, golf clap. So, I, it looks as if Daniel Grano is turning up the aggression today Pump as a up. counter. Pre flop aggression, post flop aggression. And right now he has lead for, in the match, so we, we it looks like we uh, might be seeing a little something spicy here, boys. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. Nothing brewing. Left I'm relieved hands. to see this because I thought I was just drawn stone dead. <laughs> there is life. There is life. <laughs> yeah, you said. I'm not uh, saying I'm not drawing stone. There is life on there, Mars. A very good chance I am, but it's, yeah, it's nice to see some of these adjustments looking good. Chance said he bet on Daniel Negrano getting six to one. Us over here, we are betting on uh, Mr. Uh, Doug. Mr. Doug Polk, the Supreme Leader. You guys know. Did you see that tweet yesterday? This fucking guy, Doug, he made a tweet that said, "If this gets twenty five thousand retweets, I'll stream my, my I'll stream the action with my whole cards up against Daniel." First of all, no. The, the worst part is he said, "I'll show some of my whole cards for a session." What is, what is, I mean, can we report this for like being out of line? That's you got like 4,000 retweets. Yeah. I mean, 
Chance, maybe you should do this. <laughs> Why don't you tweet this out? If I get 25,000 retweets, I'll show all my, I mean, that might cost you a lot. You get 25K, you never know. They might put the Russian bots on that. So I'd be careful, Chance, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for some I mean, that's the thing about villain Mize match is like, we're both just making such serious adjustments. It's not just like two GTO bots going after it. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you guys are getting the fuck after a chance, okay? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to dig in some of that footage sure. as well. We're gonna start to, I've, only, I've been back with my content here. I just kind of wanted to get the ball back rolling, gets consistent. And now I'm gonna be expanding my coverage on this challenge. Also, we're gonna be talking more about the Galphon challenge as well too, Phil versus Chance. I got a video about Chance, one of my favorite formats I've wanted to do for a long time. I'll be able to do that again about Chance. You're gonna get to learn more about Chance's backstory, who he is as a person, as a man. As a husband, as, as someone a that can bench three hundred pounds, as someone that can bench three hundred pounds with those biceps. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to do the exercise portion, Joey. Yeah, I mean, listen. If you want to send me a video, you bench, and you're more than happy to ship it in, over in here, the video. Bobby. In, <laughs> in. in. Like, okay, fine. I will. Yeah, I'll fucking do it. Right hand During side. that workout bet that I had in early 2018, I went from 30 percent body fat to 15 in five months. Well, that's pretty good. God bless America. <laughs> God bless America, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Right hand side, we are seeing a little little something here. The five gets there on the river. Both flush draws miss. Jason said, How did Daniel not fire his crew after getting murdered for ten buy ins? <laughs> it's only ten buy ins. It's, it's okay. Well, they're a pretty good player, so it's okay. You know, ten buy ins, it happens. Uh right hand side, let's see what happens here, guys. Doug Polk, thirteen thousand in the middle. Will we need a graphic of Negrano yeah. benching Polk when he wins a pot? It's fucking hilarious. Right-hand side, bet 8,700 from Doug Polk. Takes it down. Gets a little bit back. Nothing quite eventful for one of our patented graphics here. But I feel like something might be coming. Uh, What's the bottom oh, of oh, Doug's oh. value betting range there for that size? Like King Jack? Yeah, what do you think, Landon? Probably like a strong Jack, yeah. And then two pair. Mm -hmm. Left-hand side, pot size bet from Doug Polk. Bobin says, Doug just tweeted, Daniel is no longer limited by the size of the pot. <laughs> this guy's fucking ridiculous, dude. <laughs> so Daniel calls the pot bet. We've seen Daniel show up here with most of those pairs. Any king, five, six. He doesn't seem very inclined to want to lay those down. The backdoor flush does get in. And he does have the king, six. Interesting, guys. Are you surprised that he's not check raising the top two pair? Especially if your checker is check folding. I think you've got to add stuff like that in. What do you think, Landon? Are you surprised yeah, by that? We've seen him play a pretty a check call strategy against those big bets, pot size bets, and over bets on the turn with two pair many, many hands before. So is he just not check raising the turn? Is that what his yeah. plan's gonna be? I mean, versus over bets, you don't really have that much check raise that much check raises, but versus like seventy five percent pot bets you do. But King Six could sort of fit into a raise for sure, having top two. But with his suits specifically, he's not really too concerned if a flush does peel off. So I'm sure he's kind of taking some heuristic-based strategy of like if he has a flush draw as well in a spot like that, he'll probably just call more. And if he unblocks it, then he'll probably have some more raises. That's what I got. Yeah, I think that's spot on. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Try. You know, got wrecked. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, you know. It happens. We all lose sometimes. We all lose a session. Yeah. Why? Why would you play Doug? I don't understand. I have won a all battle. The, all the, yeah. He's... I get it. All the opponents, Doug. He's locked in. He's up six hundred thousand. You're yeah. like, sit down against Supreme Leader and play him. What are you talking about? Yeah. Some things aren't about the money, Joey. Yeah, it's about the money to people that may have action on the money. <laughs> I made sure it was okay, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine, Chance? You're ba you're you're backing somebody. Text you. He goes, hey, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Doug Polk. <laughs> what are you saying to that? You saying go ahead? I just I just hope they're. Winner, if so I can drop him. <laughs> <laughs> Left hand side, Doug takes down a pot. So Doug and Doug and Daniel batting back and forth here, and uh, Daniel up a little bit of money. I'd say he's about a buy-in so far. He's got a lot of work to do. Currently down five hundred ninety-six thousand dollars coming in today's match. That is not a misprint. They're playing two hundred four hundred stakes. A buy-in is forty thousand dollars. So. You can do the math on how many buy-ins that uh, Daniel's down. People would say this might be a normal amount of buy-ins. Up until today, the match has been pretty close. Back and forth match. But the last couple sessions, uh, Doug has been laying his foot on the gas pedal. It looks like he's gotten a little bit impatient in terms of making a, another delivery to the bank. And uh, yeah, he's been taking the tool pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, through 5,000 hands, I was down 14 buy-ins. 
And now, and now, and now, back, now, what are you up? We have four and a half. And then twenty five hands later, I was up fourteen buy-ins. Right, but hundred hands later. How would you differentiate the the swings between Potlum and Omaha, the Great Game, and Nolan Hold'em? Uh, that's for a numbers guy. Uh, what's the uh, what's like the normal PLO standard deviation? swings to be much higher? Yeah. What's the normal standard deviation for heads up PLO? I don't know. Chance, just chance now. Yeah, I mean, I looked at them when I was booking this bet, but I had people help me make them. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think heads up, it's like 130, 140, one, like around like 130, 140, 150, which is pretty high. Do, do, you, do you, maybe after this hand, we can explain what that means to our fans out there who might not be as familiar with what standard deviation means or why it matters at all? Okay. okay. You want to? Now? Yeah. Right now. Well, let's, <laughs> right now. let's see this hand here. First three bet on the right-hand side. Dean eggs 3,200 on the jack 9-5. Turns a queen. A couple straights to get in there. A couple gut shots miss. Let's see what that's Daniel's going to do. That's a juicy card right there. Wow, big bet. Hefty bet. Daniel going with a lot bigger bets today. 11,000 on the queen. another turn. Here we go. What's Doug Polk going to do? What is he going to do? He does call. River is a seven. Backdoor flush gets in, guys. 36,000 in the middle. We might see our first big pot of the session. Dane Negreanu looking like he's enjoying this hand. Let's see what happens. I expect a shove. 33,000 behind. 36.9 in the middle. Will we understand everything we do at the poker yeah, table conveys information? Check, yeah. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> We're gonna. He does check. Uh -oh. pull. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go, guys. Do you hear get, that? Get the energy ball. The truck. I expect a truck. Is Doug turning like 9-10 into a bluff? Like 9-10 of diamonds? I think he does. I think you want to have a heart. So if you had like... All in? Yeah, but he doesn't have like 9-10. Yeah, he doesn't have 9-10. No. Uh, we got I a think thin, he most, yeah. It's a thin... We got a thin call. It's a and thin... he's not turning a jack into a bluff. No, I don't think so. Unless he's like jack 10 with the 10 of hearts, or like jack of hearts kind of thing. But, but even that, like, yeah, I think you have back. probably a bigger pot share just right, checking it back. Doug stole it. Play the stealing the money one. Doug Polk <laughs> smashes in the door. Wait, oh, wait, ah, 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 ay, 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 just like that, Doug Polk sneaks in, steals that pot away from Daniel Negrano. An official highway robbery has went down. As Doug Polk <laughs> official highway robbery. takes another lead on the right hand side, that was a bluff, hundred percent, right? No, no. I'm kidding. Dude, I'm, you can just go with that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I you think you have to that. find like random, yeah. random nine ten no heart to have enough bluffs there. Right. It'd be very because tough. like otherwise you have so much jack x with hearts and nine x with hearts, like you're just not going to have enough bluffs. So he should be bluffing like eight nine a hundred percent of the time he lands with it. Interesting. Nine ten some frequency. Yeah. Like so, it's a really hard spot to find bluffs that yeah, in your turn following your Unless you, yeah, unless he just has like an ace, ace ten, ace of hearts kind of float on flop type of thing. Yeah, and I would expect like Doug to have a very like simple strategy in this. Like he's either going to be greatly over bluffing that spot or greatly under bluffing it. Yeah. Like I don't think he's going to be a GTO there for sure. Yeah. Listen, why don't we have you two talk and let me just play these graphics, okay, guys? Come on, I like this. You guys are, <laughs> this is nice, man. Hey, I'm liking this. I need this more often. I'm like. I'm liking this back and forth here. A couple pots here brewing, guys. That min bet from Dean Eggs on the left-hand side. And Dean Eggs, 96,000 in that stack. This might be a day Dean Negreanu is getting a little excited to try to maybe book a big win. I mean, Let's update today's excited. results. <laughs> you realize as soon as you said it, you're like, yeah, of course he would like a big dude, win. What? Dude, do you, do you, do you ever, have you ever watched commentary on, on sports? They say things that are obvious do all they? the time. Do yes. They? People don't know. They're not as smart as you, kid. They ain't been in the lab for... 55 million hours like you have. They don't know that. They don't, they don't, they didn't it think about it. I said that. It, 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 went from, it went from 1 million hours to 55 million hours. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you watched sports and you say something and then it's this thing they say on TV? It's just the obvious shit you say to your friends. That's all they say on them. Exactly. Hello. Yeah. We're not That's speaking, all, we're I mean, speaking to my, my people out there, man. The, the average poker player, the casual poker player. Yeah, and then the you're a poker player. And you see why Joey's like the best commentator. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, you can't yeah. be like, I'm on the range and then in the dark. Right? Right. Oh, he bet there. Well, it turns out he's got the same percentage chance of winning every time. I mean, like, you, know <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you don't want to say you anything like that. You got to win. It's 50 You got to give some it's, excitement behind it. It's 50 50, Joey. You win or you don't. Give him something exciting, man. Speak from your heart. 
Give me your heart right now. Give me your heart on this call. Jack Four Deuce, two hearts, three bet pot, Dan Negrano, left hand table. Give keep it to going, me. Bojo. You, you, you're hot right now. <laughs> you keep going. How can I step in after that? You know. <laughs> That's what I do to Doug. I go, Doug, want to do some shout heart. outs? Just like Doug's got to have hearts here. Yeah. How many hearts does Doug Polk have? Three, five hearts, six, seven hearts. Every. Every two. Combo. Every every heart combination in the pre flop range. Of he the also Supreme has leader. a big heart. He also does have big heart. He has big <laughs> yeah. heart as he bets a quarter pot on the flop. Jack four deuce turn is a nine brings the backdoor diamonds. Certainly a possibility for both players. Ace deuce, ace four diamonds. Ace ten of diamonds. Yeah, I would expect Doug to bet here from what I've been watching. But I'm not yeah, really sure. sure. Well, here we go, guys. Maybe Daniel picked up on that. Doug might be overstabbing these turns, and he does indeed bet that big size, ninety five hundred. That's a hefty bet. Right have there. just been like snap folding here so often. Well, I don't think he's folding this time, guys. I think he's going to hit him with the, with the check call. And he does. <laughs> River is wow. the queen. <laughs> Good timing, huh? Good timing to make your prediction, Joey. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <That's not> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Pocket shows tens. down pocket tens. Nice hand by Daniel Negrano. Nice adjustment. Let's go. So Daniel doesn't bet the turn. Do you, are you guys like that play? Just a check call on the turn? Bet pretty standard with pocket tens? I think once you check call flop, you're not really going to lead that turn much. That makes sense. It might just be zero because there's some spots for like, yeah, like the solvers will lead, but like a poorly implemented solver strategy um, is going to be making way less money than like a well implemented other strategy. Yeah, I love when Ch I love chance breaking it down. I'm liking this a lot, chance. <laughs> Chance, you put up any videos related to your Pot Limit Omaha challenge against Phil that people might be able to find? Are they on the uh, Chip Leader Coaching YouTube channel? Um, I think we might have. Let me check real quick. Yeah, man, if you guys want to follow the updates, uh, I know Phil's posting updates on his channel, Run It Once channel. There's going to be highlights there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go on the podcast with Marley and uh, Jamie for tomorrow. I don't know when that's going to be up, but I'll let you all know. I told we are not updated, but we uh, the YouTube channel yet. But at uh, clcpoker.com, we are doing weekly updates. If you opt in, and we'll send you like my recap from each week, the results, some of the big hands. Give them that website one more time, Chance. clcpoker.com. There you guys go, clcpoker.com. If you want to stay up to date on all things chip leader coaching, including their upcoming. Uh, training tool that might be on soon. Da, 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 da. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. coming soon. Ba, 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 ba. I got to see it a little bit at Chance's house. It looked nice. You know, I was, I was, I said when I went to Chance's house before the challenge started, me and Chance talked for a few hours, and uh, I got to say, Chance, I, I, I was pretty confident in you after that conversation because you seem extremely confident. You were talking about just kind of your approach to things, and uh, I'm not surprised to see this be in your favor so far. Obviously, Phil got fun, tough player, but. I don't know, man. You were pretty locked in, buddy. I was, I was like, wow, this kid's fucking. Yeah, I mean, like, I've, I've worked. To, I have a glucose monitor, like, it plugged into my arm. Yeah, like, yeah. This fucking aura ring. Like, just a cyborg. You know, I'm just now. doing everything I can to win. You know, like, I sold a reasonable percentage, and it would just do a disservice to myself and my investors to not mm -hmm. give this my all. So that's cyborg. I'm chance. definitely uh, trying to win. Cyborg chance with a chip in his arm. <laughs> Watching the sand, left hand side, three bet from Doug Polk, bets the turn. All in by Daniel oh, Greno. Snap yeah, fold. Ay, 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 what's happening? You need today? to understand that Seven everything you do at the Polk's in table conveys information. In you can't be like all loosey goosey. Ay, 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 no, 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 There's three basic characteristics. Doug Polk is officially. One is just the raw. The truck is falling apart on the left hand table. As Daniel Negrano is up to one hundred thirty-two thousand dollars, and Daniel is piling wow. on a little bit. This Just might quiet. be. Joe, you got to update the daily results. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you I waiting will. for Doug to be winning or something? I, I no no. It says that every day. You don't understand. It says I will update the results. What I mean by I'll update the results is I will verbally speak to you during the show, and I'll let you know where. <laughs> I will speak oh, to you. Okay. <laughs> So Daniel looks like he's up. Uh, uh, I'd say he's up about uh, Landon struggling with this microphone over here. He's he's really having a tough time with this mic. Yes, I mean, I think uh, he's up about two buy-ins flat. Yeah, I think so too. What kind, of sick, Ooh, kind of sick a human pretends to be Jamie Gold? The sick human. <laughs> a very sick human. I'm Jamie Gold right here. I'm Jamie Gold in real life. Right here. I was watching some classic Phil Hummuth blow-ups the other day. Wow. The guy is so hilarious. He's so funny. It's, it, 
this fucking idiot from me call it Queen Ten. Like, idiot who cries about Europe. Queen Ten? I don't understand. What if we have like a series where like we look back at like legendary hands and mm -hmm. like we run Sims on them? That sounds like every other hand breakdown creator out there. Did sounds like a good idea, idea then. Yeah, <laughs> sounds right like not. a good idea then. Everyone that everyone that has a, 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 a solver queen thinks they're like we, a, they they. they they all, they all like, oh, well, it's all... I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, this breakdown's whatever. I don't want to get into them. Let's I just want to see how much of an idiot the idiot from Northern Europe is. Yeah, let's break down and really bash these motherfuckers' play from old school from hands. 20 years ago. Can you ago. believe this this guy bet this size at a yeah. four-ring World Series of Poker event on day four in 2007? I cannot believe how terrible yeah. this guy Yeah, or when Doug broke down the ran, rounder's hand. He's like, well... Exactly, exactly, right? Exactly. It's like NBA players going to break down 1970s basketball. Like, yeah, the strategy's changed a little bit, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. Right hand side, three bet pre flop, five on the turn. But I like where you're at, kid. I like it. Let's make it happen. Five on the turn. I want to know where the guy that can't even spell poker is. <laughs> where is that guy? He's probably not playing poker anymore. Yeah, he probably can't spell it either. So we saw a bet here from Doug. Right hand side, five on the turn. Check, check. River's a three. My friend, me people in the chat are asking for my little brother. They want to see my little bro. My little bro is not in the house today. That was a quite a, con a contrast of, of poker skill. You and my little brother. Yeah. Just look over my phone for a second and I have like a bunch of texts, but there's one that stands out and it's my uh, CPA. Uh, shout out Marissa. Shout Marissa. And I'm like, oh shit, like what is this? And she's like watching you on the stream. I'm like, oh phew. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Marissa. Shout out to the CPA. Shout out to Marissa. Guys, we're seeing, uh-oh. Guys, listen, we got to shout out one of our first sponsors. You guys know, actually, after the last time, Bang Bros dropped us from sponsorship, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunate. They, they said, they said, uh, they canceled Landon's membership and everything like that. He was heartbroken about it. He was messaging me like, yo, what happened to that, what happened to that membership? No, he wasn't. Guys, listen, let me just, uh, let me get into it, man. You guys know our guys, our first official sponsor on these streams right here is, of course, Boom, 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 boom. He's hitting chance. Boom, boom. Give him the hook. We got Gorilla Gaming poker tables in the house. My man, Glenn McCroy. He's been a long time, uh, a long time guy in the poker world. He has bar poker open events. I worked for him. My first commentary job back in 2015 with my girl, Ebony Kenny. I met my girlfriend there. I did commentary on a final table. No one in the history of final tables has ever met their girlfriend while doing commentary in a YouTube chat except me. When I met my blonde girlfriend, Rebecca, and then we fell in love, and then it was a rocky relationship. I, we broke up, I felt terrible. I haven't talked to her father since, even though he's at the final table, but they've stepped up to the plate. They said, Big Poppy, how do we get involved? So listen, I'm looking for products out there that need to help, need some help on their marketing, and I'm helping them out. And we're watching this girl, this girl's going crazy. I, 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 but this they got the some best great- gift of all of them. I know, they got some- again uh, when Daniel stacks Doug? <laughs> They do have some great uh, poker tables as well too. You guys can find it on their uh, on their website right here. Customize the option as well too. GorillaGaming.net. Check out their tables. All shapes and sizes. Cheap tables. Expensive tables. Beautiful tables. They were at the World Series of Poker last year. They made their debut over in the, over in the main room. Kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Right, You walk in right by the hot dog stand. Beautiful hot dog stand on the left-hand side. They had their tables there. So big shout out to Glenn. Shout out to Gorilla Gaming. Shout out to this this gorilla. Look at this guy. This guy is. Look at this fucking guy's moves. Oh my god. Whoa! Boom! This guy's. This guy. Ay ay ay! Four bet alert. Er, er. Right hand side. Daniel Negreanu. Four bets. Landon. Oh, here we go. Johnny Depp's back. Come here, puppy. We're back. Come on, brother. Come on, Landon. Look at the kid. Look, Damn, look you're looking fly, look, kid. Bro, look. It's good. It goes with the. It goes with the. Like, the outfit, Dude, you're looking you know? good, kid. I'm liking this, man. You got some swagger to you. Right hand side, four bet by Dane Negreanu. The smoke fires up. Doug Chance, Polk. Chance is gonna come back and be what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> Chance is gonna come back and not be sure who he's talking to. Right hand side, Doug Polk calls the four bet preflop. Once again, we see him do this very often. We've seen Daniel make this bet size very often. Forty four hundred. Chance the the gorilla knocked Chance out of his chair. The gorilla. <laughs> Knock Chance out, Chance. Oh, he's back. Yeah, that could really crush me, but I'm back to see this format pot. And Daniel does take it down. So Daniel Negreanu, guys, do you think? Is, is Daniel on fire? No, more, not, not too soon. Not too soon, too soon, too soon. Not, not fire more, just no. fire. No, I, I mean, listen, he's kind of dominating. Left-hand side, $137,000 in a stack. Right-hand side, about even. Urban Harrow says, hi, Kathy. I met you at Foxwoods about 15 years ago. You were so nice to me. 
You're just starting relationships left and right, Joey. Mm, who's Kathy? Uh, Did you, who's Kathy? Can you tell Lieber, us who you're talking about? We don't know. Kathy Liebert was in the chat earlier. I wonder if it was her. Oh, it is Kathy Liebert. Shout out to Kathy Liebert in the chat. Is it the real Kathy Liebert? Shout out to Kathy Liebert. I remember watching her. One of the ladies on the World Series of Poker coverage on ESPN. Right hand side. Who was my favorite lady to watch back in the day on the coverage? Who? What lady did I like? Who did I have a crush on? Let me think. Doug, Doug Polk. I mean, Vanessa Selps. Yeah, Doug Polk definitely had a crush on Vanessa Selps. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah. Chances here at the memes. He knows about the memes. Yeah. Meme, I mean, listen, a meme god. Can you imagine? Doug, whatever. Let's not even go there. Uh, who, who did you guys have a crush on and at, for, for, the, for the ladies? Maybe the men. I know a lot of Sammy Barha fans out there. <laughs> we get a lot of groupies in the chat. So. I like you, Jamie. Yeah, who, who was it? Who, who were some of the women? I can't remember any of them. I'm too young, I'm too young for that. <laughs> too, young, too young for that. You were four years old. <laughs> no, it was like, so I was in like third grade. Who was yours, Jerry? I don't know. I can't really remember any of them. Maybe from people from the chat, we'll, we'll kind of point some out. Some guys, some girls, whoever you guys found attractive. Mia Khalifa. Somehow two people put that. That's uh, well. Jen Tilly. That's a good one. Jennifer Tilly. Obvi Dude, Jen Tilly. Jen Harmon. Yeah. Yeah. Sean D when he dressed up like a girl was pretty quality. I had a crush on them all. I'll be honest. Listen, back in the day, I thought any girl that played poker yeah, was yeah. absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, wanted to be with them, wanted to be near them, wanted to love them, wanted to hold them, wanted to feel them, wanted to kiss <laughs> them, wanted to be a part of their life somehow. Wow. Vanessa Russo, yeah. You know, oh, big was... raise from Doug or Daniel. Uh-oh, we have not seen this so far. A big raise on the river from Daniel Negreanu. He's Let's getting get fired some... up by all the lady conversation as he dates Amanda. <laughs> Let's get some fire. It's his wife. Wait. Well, they are dating. <laughs> are they? Right-hand side, Daniel Negreanu. If he wins this pot, he will officially get... Oh! oh pair no, for straight. Doug he Polk. Straight. He is straight. He is straight. He is straight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> less less impressive. Oh. Well, that's that doesn't that doesn't feel fun at all. I can't even go to replay. <laughs> that doesn't feel I can't even fun go to replay with this site. Jack ten offsuit. I don't know what Daniel Ground is doing. He's going for the bluff. He had the one blocker. He had the club in his hand. What do you guys think about that play? <laughs> And just like that, Dane Negreanu runs into the straight. Caught speeding by Doug Polk. And Doug Polk <laughs> smashes him Grand Theft Auto style. And Doug Polk wins a nice pot. 75000 on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, Doug Polk check raises small. I'm really upset that we're not seeing more guys' names in the chat. I felt, I felt like you guys had more crushes on like Gus Hansen or maybe, uh, maybe my boy Patrick Antonia. Shout out to Patrick. He lives for the action. He does. So check raise on the left. This might be our first double check raise. Please do not double check raise, Doug. Please do not double check. Please do not double. Please, for the love of God, do not double check raise. Do not double check. I mean, raise. if you're gonna do it, this is okay, the spot. Okay, thank right? God, thank God. He just checked calls. River is the seven. This is a uh, this is a juicy board. Ace, ace, nine, nine. Any ace, any nine. Make a full house. I don't know what exactly Doug would have here that he would check raise small with and then check call the turn. Maybe flush draw. Some high card hands. High card hands, yeah. Yeah. Would he ever do it with a bad nine x with poor turn equity distribution? Yeah, and then you just like snap nine x on the river and you just lose, but you live yeah. with it. Yeah. They said live Bori. Yeah. My buddy texted me Shannon Elizabeth, which is a good one. Shan Elizabeth, yeah, she was like yeah. the old actri actress in American Pie, very famous for that one scene with uh, Jason Biggs where, yeah, very famous to us young guys. Do you have the, do you have the gif of that scene? You know what, maybe, I, maybe I, should I play it? Should I show her naked on the screen or what? What are you, what are you thinking? Do you <laughs> no, want to pull it up God. here now? I mean, I don't mind. I'll pull it up, Chance. You want to do it? I'll do it. <laughs> no? Okay. I'm good. Okay, Landon says, no, we can't do that. No. It's against TOS. Right, you, yeah. you don't want to lose your sponsorships, you know. That's we. That's true. They're, but they're, maybe he might gain more sponsorships. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I, I really might. Sponsorship theory optimal. STO. Shout shout to Motley Investor, <laughs> one of the big sponsors from the last stream. He was going. He was listening, man. We love that guy. Shout to Motley he Investor. Was going, he was there. going hard. Yeah. He was going hard, man. He was on. A, he was on a mission. Left hand side. Doug takes down a nice pot. Fifty seven hundred. Right hand side. Three bet pot. Check by Daniel Negreanu. Eight nine five. Two spades. Let's see if Doug goes to that quarter pot. He does check back. Turns a four. 
Albert says, Doyle Brunson is my wife's hall pass. <laughs> my God. You, the chat. The chat's just wild. The chat is wild. Wild. Daniel with the delayed C bet in the three bet pot, $6,100. Let's see what Doug does. What hands is Doug checking back that he'd call a three quarter pot bet on the flop? Landon and the glasses. Name a better combination. This is the Landon and the glasses and the shirt. That shirt. That shirt is fire. You wear the glasses? You have to wear the glasses. Yeah, I'll wear the glasses for a little bit. Right, let's go. Landon, do you know the bet frequency after three betting on that eight, nine, five board? I feel like it's relatively low. I want to say it's like. Yeah. It's 60, one of the lower boards. Yeah, that's like 60% check. Like eight, like, six, five is probably even. Well, yeah, eight, yeah, six, five, really five, high. six, seven, all those ones just mm -hmm. check. You tap the table and you and you pray. <laughs> you and pray for the Halloween time. Like, yeah. I bet Dnigs is playing like a simplified strategy as well. It's like, all right, I'm just going to range check this board texture. Yeah, like, for sure. And then kind of maybe like bet the intuitive hands, like seven X, like for straight draws and then like two pairs and stuff that need protection and then some over pairs that need protection as well. Yeah. Fuck, I feel like I need a hat. Do you have a hat? Bro, I when have you, one when in you the start other room. talking in that hat, Landon, you, you go to another level. This is, you really do. This there's is something the, uh, about this is the alpha brain hat. There's something about you in that hat that just brings out brings it out of you. It's the alpha brain hat. Joe, you remember the the unicorn legend hat from World Series? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really own any hats. That's like the one I'd have to get. <laughs> right hand side, we see a three bet pot, and we see a check on the ace queen three board. Ten on the turn, check check. Daniel, let's see if he goes for a river bet here with some of his uh, no showdown hands. Seven six suited. Mm, he's just gonna have the queen seven. Oh here we oh here we go uh, chance. A hundred uh, from my ace king, Dan wow. Grano. What's he doing? He is is sneaky, sneaky, ace king. He's weaving right Anytime now. Anytime you can check three streets with the ace king suit after three betting pre flop and flopping top pair, top kicker. Wow. You got a low frequency, mix that in to keep them on their toes. And he does just that. Shout out to Motley Investor, throws the hundred our way. Joey, when you research hex, larger sponsorship to come. Well, we're getting a call from Bill Perkins right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he knows I'm streaming. Let's see what he's talking what he about. Perkins, we're, we're streaming right now. What's happening, Ken? Uh, no, I'm, I'm watching you on stream. I'm dialing in. What's going on? <laughs> What's up? Uh, guys, we're joined, we're joined by the my fourth, man. He's the fourth man. The, four, the fourth man, the Hulk Hogan of our NWO, Mr. Bill Perkins, is currently on the line, probably from some remote location, maybe wearing a bathing suit, maybe around his beautiful girlfriend, maybe with the kids around playing some 200, 400 high stakes holding. We don't really know what the kid's doing right now, but how's it going, BP? He may just be in the kitchen. I'm doing all right. I'm in the kitchen watching you, uh, watching you and Chance in the booth here. You're not watching Landon or what? No, I mean, I'm the invisible man. <laughs> you're not watch, not watching the kid in the hat over here. <laughs> so, so BP, you, uh, by the way, we got a podcast date coming up soon. Hopefully once I get back to my podcast here, but you're making a lot of waves recently, Bill, and you bet big on Daniel Negreanu and it appears that you bet a lot of money. Can you tell people where you under some sort of what, what was going on? What was happening here, BP? What, what's up with this? the time I'm laying odds against incredible feet so I like getting odds and so the incredible feat here would be for Daniel to get very good to compress it to be better than a four to one dog and so I wanted to bet on the man this time versus the machine like Doug's a machine he's been doing this for a while and I wanted to bet on the man well how you feeling <laughs> <laughs> congratulations you took man you went against the machine <laughs> he, he indeed did it yeah and heads up poker so you know it's not over yet i still like it there's a lot of baseball left you know a that, lot of baseball left that's true we're, we're, let's get that money in. Way, let's get their money six bill or six the way through so i'm feeling you know i still like it what do you still like my position what what odds do you think Dan, daniel negreanu so there's a clause where if they're at 12.5k hands the loser can tap out do you think daniel negreanu will tap out at that 12.5k hand mark or do you think he'll go on to twenty five thousand? I think it's going to the. I think it's going the distance. You you think so? If Dan Negreanu is down a million dollars, you expect him to continue playing the twenty five thousand total hands? Yeah, like, I think the million has sunk. You know, it's sunk. It's gone. So if he's down a million, he's got the only way. He's, you know, he's going to play back. He's going to assess the skill level at that point. And I think he's getting better and better as as he keeps playing. I don't know why he wouldn't play. You know. Well, we're gonna. I mean, listen. He's down a lot. I mean, let's say he's down. 
Yeah, Bill. I mean, we got a long way to go, buddy. It's 13 days. It's Maybe been. I'll give Daniel like 13 to one on 50 grand if he keeps going. Who knows? You know what I mean? I wanted to go to the death. <laughs> You know, Heads up for souls. You, He's here for the souls. You, 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 you <laughs> love the battling, Bill. Listen, no one loves mixing it up. UFC is one of the biggest things out there. People love battles. Like this is a good battle. Like this is one of the best things going on in poker for the past five years. Yeah, like, I mean, this is exciting. This is fun. I mean, it's it's you know, this, despite who you're on or which side you're on or whatever. Like this is very entertaining. It's a lot of fun and people are learning things. It's great. We need one with whole cards. Guys, we're, we are joined by my man Bill Perkins right now. Been on the podcast multiple times. Loves to play the high-stakes games. He plays online. He plays live. He plays on boats. He, he plays in all. back rooms. <laughs> he plays on un, online applications. The guy's literally doing everything right now. <laughs> if you want to follow his traveling exploits around the world, you can do it on his Instagram page. And uh, he also loves to repost his book, Die With Zero. I, have, I still have a lot of copies to give away, which we are going to have an official Die With Zero week. And uh, we have many, many copies of the book. You know what? Fuck it. I'm giving away a book right now, guys. If you're in the chat and you want to die with zero book, type please die. Type, <laughs> type die. Type die in the chat. With zero. And I'll, I'll pick out one person and we'll give away one of Bill's like books. It. Amen. Like well, I'll, let you, I'll let you get back to you uh, uh, doing some excellent commentary. Keep it entertaining and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, my young okay. friend. Talk to you soon, brother. You got it. You guys have fun. Bye. Later. <laughs> He must have saw you put on the glasses and was like, okay, he's in, he's in tropical mode right now. <laughs> shout, out to my, shout out to my man, Bill Perkins. Always, uh, always love talking with that guy. He's, uh, he's got a big bet on this match. On the, on the man. On Daniel Negrano. So we're going to find out what exactly goes on here. Joey, I'm spamming die in the chat. I want that book. <laughs> you, you want the book? <laughs> I, already, I already ordered it last week. Well, you can have another one. <laughs> well, we'll give you a book, buddy. Listen, man. I'll, yeah, I, I, can I ordered it, it last week. I'll I'm set good. you up with a book, Chance. I'll take care of you. You, you want a book? <laughs> you want a book? You sign the book. You want Landis Meal? Sign the book for you. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a legendary book. <laughs> It'd be like, this is destroyed. I didn't, I didn't I didn't it. It. We'll like rip one page out. You have to find out which page. Where, are you going to find a spot for that book with all those trophies in the background, though? I don't know. Your, your stand looks a little full back there. I got like eight books. Oh, you did find room for books. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. He's I mean, a, you also have a thousand trophies, so I, I didn't know if you could fit it in behind all, all the all the tournament wins you got there. <laughs> Left hand side. Lay what? If you win versus Phil Galfon, I'll make you a trophy for the, the challenge. All right. Yeah. Okay. I want to be involved in the trophy creation. <laughs> you want a cat on there? No. Okay. Well, I was gonna say Landon could be involved as long as there's no cats. No cat. <laughs> no cat jam. Yeah, I'm not a cat guy. No cat jam. Left hand right. side, D Nex takes it down. He's got $138,000. But if Chance does win, we will do a cat jam dance for like 10 minutes. Like you'll stream, like we'll stream, and we'll do like a cat jam dance for Chance. All right, if if <laughs> if Chance wins, yeah. If Chance wins, me and Landon are gonna do a 10 minute dance to the cat jam, <laughs> and that's it. That is what it is. Uh, all right, let's pick somebody in the chat. Chance, why don't you do the honors and pick someone in our chat? All right. They have to put die. Did I really say die zero? I guess I. I guess I did. I just say said that. die. <laughs> I thought I meant die with zero. Whatever. You guys do what you want to do. Right hand side, singer race pot. That pot. This this match on the right hand table has been pretty even. Doug's got a little bit of a chip lead. Left hand side, Daniel in position, one forty k, looks to be going strong. All right, let's go with Scott Andrews. All right, Scott Andrews, you have been chosen by Chance Corneth to win the Die With Zero book. Please, if you can, send me a message on Instagram at poppygto. And I will make sure you get that book, my friend, Scott Andrews. Please, okay. please reach out to us. If you don't, then you won't get your book, okay? <laughs> Die With Zero is yours. Thank you very much for participating in this expertly thought out giveaway during the YouTube stream. <laughs> Right hand, left hand side, over bet by Mr. Doug Polk, King, Queen, five deuce, both flush draws miss. Let's see. Pitch the action. Uh, it looks like it went. Uh... I can't figure out that bet size or that pot size. Yeah. It's like a 150%. Uh, I no, I know, but um, yeah. I guess Doug potted the turn, bet versus missed. Uh, we have to go to the replay booth. No, that, that's what it is. It's the only way to get to this size, is if Doug Pot's turn. Pot's turn. And Doug, bet. Doug does take it down. I'll, be, I'll bet you a hat, Landon. You'll bet me a hat? Yeah. You're probably right. I, 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 yeah. We were focused on Scott Andrews giving that, getting that nice getting that nice look yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Hat jam. <laughs> hat jam. 
Estonian Jesus, my man, what's up, buddy? He's like, just ordered it online. I doubt I'm the only one. Good promo. Yeah, look at that. Look at Perkins. Do you Perkins. have an affiliate Dude, code? Perkins is, you... I didn't even get a fucking I, I, affiliate poppy. Didn't even get in the mix. You don't even there. have promo look code at poppy. Perkins, man. What a G. This guy is so. Sm calls me up. He'll know. He knows I answer. Listen, I'm more than happy. <laughs> that was sharp. For no, all the all answer. the expert, for all the the great knowledge and, and conversation I've had with BP, I'm more than happy to uh, support the Bluff Woods here. I mean, I literally have it. I have it back. I have it, I'll get I, some I books. Have it, I have it in the background, too. There's six books in the background as well for Petrowitz Hero. Oh, I'm going to get them. I'm gonna get, get yeah, them. go get one. Go get it if you want. Yeah, go ahead. There's a monkey back here. There's a monkey back here. You're right. There is a monkey back there. Oh, it's not a troll? That's not a troll. There is a monkey in the background. There's, yeah. There's oh. a clay, it's a clay monkey, but it's real. <laughs> go ahead. Wow. Wow. Hey. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow. Wow. Wait, for it, wait, wait, wait. For wait, for wait. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wait, what do you got? You got any more? What, what's, that? what's behind that? Oh, another mug's okay, perfect. There you wow. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Amen. Scott Andrews, one of these great books is yours. Congratulations, Congratulations Scott Andrews. Congratulations to Scott Andrews. Thank you, Chance. Scott, we love you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, me. Chance. Thank, Thank you, you, Chance, for picking it out. Thank you, me. You're not accepting message requests from Scott, he said. I've messaged, but you're not accepting messages from everyone, Joey. Well, that's not good. Why don't we send you some you a message? He can send me a message. Okay, it's at it's at Tice Landon on Landon Tice. On it's Twitter. at Landon. I thought it was Tice Landon. It's Landon Tice on Twitter. Tice Landon on Instagram. At Tice Landon on Instagram. At Landon Tice on Twitter. Please hit him up. Right hand side check call from Dnex. Left hand side three bet from Dnex. So Dnex, looking like he's got a nice lead today. Doing good. He's doing well. He's playing well. The aggression's ramped up. So I figured that like Scott Andrews, you know, he's got his like picture profile on his YouTube chat. Like anyone who takes the time to set that up is just so much more likely to actually read the book. I really hope he does. He said I better sign the book. Can you give me a book? I'm gonna sign one real quick. Cool. Right hand side, Daniel shows up with the trip queens. Nice pot goes his ways. I just started reading again. I didn't read it in so long. Yeah, I'm, I've been, uh... I've been reading many, 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 many hours, many days. I try to, I, I, there's also, you can, you can go online and you can basically put any book in and put notes after it. And there's a lot of people who started these businesses where they will aggregate the book according to what their takeaways are and notes are. So that's one good way. If you want to kind of just see big picture ideas from different books, you can do that. That's a big thing I do. And also you can watch video essays or breakdowns, depending on the length you're looking for on YouTube, if you don't want to do it yourself. So that's what I like to do is I like to go through all these books and kind of find commonalities in terms of what people are talking about, depending on if it's business or marketing or finance or investing. And uh, I sort of start there versus kind of like, if I really like a book, then I'll, I'll dig into it. So there's a few books I'll kind of yeah. read all the way through, but most books I, I just find uh, people who aggregated the content and then I'll read multiple people who broke down the book and then I'll find commonalities in those. Yeah, I've been asking friends who I respect from different backgrounds, so I don't get like the same type of shit over and over. That's actually a really good idea, right? When you talk about how to do a, how to make decisions, you could talk to people who are at different careers, scientist or a philosopher or an economist or a poker player, and you can definitely find different approaches. There's some good books that talk about all the different approaches that people take to problem solving and, and making decisions, which, uh, yeah, I find all that stuff really interesting. I should start a learning channel where I just talk about all the stuff I'm studying, but. You're so good at this though. What'd you say? You're so good at this though. <laughs> I don't know, you know, good and bad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right inside, big bet from Daniel on the turn. We've seen him do this quite often here. Min bets flop, 2100 on the turn. Board does not change. Nine of diamonds gets there. River is the six of hearts. Flush draw gets in. We have a donation. A donation from my girl, Novocaine Poker Alex. She said, here's a dono. Chance can buy a hat or drinks for the three <laughs> of you. Love the stream. Shout out to my girl, Novocaine Poker on Instagram. Alex is always working hard. Make sure you guys throw her a follow a little bit if you if like. If it's hat or drinks for the with the boys, I'm choosing drinks for the boys. Amen to that. Boys. Amen to that. Right hand side, Daniel, fifty two fifty on the river. He's saying he's got at least a top pair. And Doug with the massive the big check raise, raise. Wow. the hefty raise. He says thirty one four nine six point two five. Look, he even added the twenty five cents in there. All the value. Doug Polk backs up the truck, saying yeah. he's got a flush. He's got a flush. Nice hand for Mr. Doug Polk and Doug Polk. Listen, I don't know. I mean, when he's, he's not, you know, he, he's not, he's not anywhere right now. He's not anywhere right now. We got one from Urban Hero, 499 donation. Joey, you're the number one guy I can think I can get some great life advice from. Any chance I can contact you? 
What do you think? What do you think? Four ninety nine. Is that all? Is that what it takes to get my get get my advice on life? Fuck it. Why not? Message wow. Me on, message me on Instagram. Wow, that was not the response I was expecting. Message me on Instagram at Poppy GTO and uh, let, let's have a chat. All right. Thank you. MC says, "Did you have a crush on Vivian Saliba? She is smoking hot." Shout out to Vivian. I know Vivian. She's a, very, a great Pop Omaha player, and uh, we love her very much here on the Poker Life channel. She's been on. She's been on uh, the podcast before as well. Too. Shout out to Vivian. Let's get back to this action. Let's not talk about her again. She messaged me. Okay, cool. Thank you, Scott. We got your. We got your. Um, good luck in your your. I don't even know how to write. My handwriting so dog. Shit. Someone asked if chip leader coaching is more focused on cash or tourneys, and we are much more focused on tournaments at the moment. We are seeing a pot here on the right-hand side. As I'm signing this book from my man Scott, Doug Polk bets the pot on the turn. Daniel check calls. We've seen Daniel. Jack High's going to win it. Oh, wow. That's Jack a winner. Six. Are you, is, that, is that a value bet on the river from Doug, the Doug Polk with the Jack Six? I think you see that pot or see that flop potted turn. Yeah, is that so? Is that river? So once he gets check called there by Daniel, is that not a river that you want to bet? You're not. Are you scared? Are you scared so. of any King X over cards, or you just think your opponent has an eight at too high frequency or a better six with a better kicker? I think when you're betting your strong sixes or medium sixes on the turn, it's to get value from worse while minimizing losses versus an eight and just check like the vast majority of the rivers. But obviously, you're going to be betting a eight, jack, and six as well. Do you think they're checking back most like 10, but basically any card that's not a jack or a six or eight? I think 100% of non jack six eight. Interesting. But I, I could be wrong. Interesting. What do you think, Big Dog? I agree with Chance. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Nice job, Chance Smith. They I mean, you, you listen, you, I, I mean, I know you're playing the PLO challenge, but you've also played a lot of Nolan Holden for a very long time. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want people to be confused and think Chance is not a Nolan Holden player. The guy is 100% Nolan Holden player. So. Debatably, I mean, would you say you're better at Nolan Holden tournaments than PLO Cash? Like, I don't, I mean, what, what do you I think? Mean, honestly, I like my primary source of income was PLO Cash for a long time. And like, mm. most people don't know before the Galphon match started, like, how much heads up PLO I played. Jeez. Well, you were hap you were lucky not, you were happily not telling them. So thank you. <laughs> happily not, yeah. thank, thank you, Chance. Yeah. Thank you, Chance, for not telling them. Le left hand yeah. table, we are seeing a check call on the turn. Right hand table, same check call. Couple uh, flush on the river gets there. Flush on the turn, yeah. We have some interesting pots here on both tables. Yeah, we do. Daniel leading the right, three quarters pot, 3,412. Let's see if Doug Polk is going to bet this river. He's going to say he's got a flush. He does bet, 5,200, three quarters pot. Well, Daniel, does he have a flush? Will we see a check raise? We don't. Did he, like, lead or did he lead turn? I uh, check call turn. Wow, the check call lead. Oh, on the left hand side, rather, right hand side. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He does take straight. it down. Straight. Straight. That'll do. Great it. for Daniel Negrano. Queen 10 offsuit. Makes the nuts on the turn. Queen 10 offsuit. Left hand side, once again, that, 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 that min bet as a C bet on the A side board. Turns a five. Jacob Calloway says, Joey, have you been able to get have you been able to get Landon out of line yet? Kid seems too in line. No, and I have absolutely no desire to get the kid out of line. So we gotta keep this kid in line. This is the hope of American poker right here. God bless America. It's like, you know when you hear those stories about the guy, the guy in the neighborhood and they all took care of the guy because he was like the way out he was gonna get out of out of the out of the neighborhood. <laughs> That's Landon. All right. We're wow. taking we're 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 surrounding these guy this guy with 15 bodyguards at all times so no one fucks around with him. And uh he's 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 he's, he's He's our hope. He's our American hope, man. He's our hope. He's our 21-year-old American hope to take down the bots, to take down the Europeans in the battle of the nations on Poker Mountain that will take place one day. That's, that's a great idea. I know, it really that's is, isn't it? That's a good idea. What if we find the best person from each country to come play you on Poker Mountain? And then we just get... And then you annihilate them. Yeah. Or I get an island. What if you lose all 10, kid? I so, mean, fuck, man. Yeah. What happens? It happens. Yeah, then we right. just play him again. Chance. And then, it's, and then it's like a rematch. We're going to get you on the mountain, Chance? What are you thinking? You <laughs> on make, the mountain? Poker Mountain. You're going to be, or can we expect to see you on the mountain? What's the mountain? Poker Poker Mountain, Chance. It's the greatest idea of all time, the great, the, the, A new show we got, we got launching in, in 2021, Poker Mountain. 
Hey, I'm I'm pro Joey, Joey supporter. He's yeah, yeah, I know you're not. He, he's, he's not all, mountain. He, he is also pro mountain. He is also pro he's mountain also too. Pro yeah, mountain. those those are two things I really enjoy: poker and mountains. I know so he's like mountain I mean, poker. Yeah. I'm in. Okay, wow. let's do it. It is exponentially yeah, increased yeah. when they're both together. You know, <laughs> grew up in Colorado. You know, I miss the mountains. I know. I mean, Vegas. We got some great hiking. I was at Red Rock with the family this weekend. Shout out to my mother, my little uh, my little bro, Tutu Andrew Cool, who was on the stream on Saturday. AKA Big Dog, AKA Yardstick, AKA Klaus, AKA Stallion. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Killed it. My team finally got back to me. Um, they're working with the team to get some more videos on the YouTube channel, and they're just having some issues, but they should be coming up soon. So thank you, thank you, challenge. Two ninety nine, two dollar donation from Chris Brooks. Dean Eggs likes which more, rake or teeth and butts? <laughs> I mean, that, that, I mean, if that's not the hardest hitting question of twenty twenty, I don't know what's what it going is. on here, guys. Yeah. Come on, man. Obviously, rake. Obviously, he likes. Rick. More Rick is better. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what he likes more. I think I think he likes the. Maybe you just asked to chat, maybe. No, well, can we move on? Move on from that one. We gave. <laughs> You're the one that I bet. He, he donated to. Let's move on. Right hand side, Doug Polk makes the big bet. Thirty four hundred takes it down. Left hand side, Dean Eggs still one hundred thirty k stack. Doug Polk clawing back on the right hand side, trying to pull back to even for today's session. This is day 14 of the match, I think. We know how long we're going to go for today? Uh, we don't, Chance. So they've been playing for about two to three hours, most sessions. A couple ones we've seen four. Usually Landon's asleep by that moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No! Why did you No, it's going to close down again. Yeah. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. You save it? No, no, we're good. Because yes, we're, we're using we're save, using remote Joey. we're using remote control software to uh to currently act activate daniel ground's account right now so at, we have zoom going on so we have also world series of poker open so it won't kind of let us do that but yeah yeah landon's actually playing right now for daniel ground definitely not no yeah so world series of poker we're connecting with chance on zoom and it it says that we're using zoom so due to regulations remote controlled software cannot be running at the same time as the poker application so that's their way to sort of defeat people that might be. Uh, hey, it stopped looking. It should, it's yeah, because I was wondering if I could like. Out. So the only way to really go through your hands on WSOP when you're reviewing a session. Oh, are we in trouble? Yeah, yeah, we're in trouble. We got to do it again. We're bringing it back, guys. One second. World Series of Poker. I'm not, I'm not trying to leave. World Series of Poker <laughs> has done it again to us. I do have a dinner party in like an hour, though. Okay. Parties and dinners at the same Par time. The party is ending in an hour. Hold on, we'll be back in a second. Let's set it up, guys. Let's see if we can do it again. How, let's get, get, chant, get, sing him a song, Landon. Sing a song? Uh, someone read the books over my shoulder. Sing him a song. I don't know what song to sing. Sing him a song, please. <laughs> please sing the please chat. Please sing the chat a sing song. Sing the chat a song. We, maybe we put a graphic up there. That's what a graphic. What if we show the gorilla <laughs> punching the air? While we fix this issue on WorldSourcePoker.com that keeps happening to us on the stream. Remind us next time not to connect by Zoom. Therefore, we won't have this issue again. And this won't take place while we're live with over 4,000 people watching the stream. <laughs> and we look like jackasses for letting this happen. And just like that, after the gorilla 35 hurt seconds, the we gonna get hurt. it going back up, and we're back in the action with Doug Polk making a big bet on the left-hand side. Ace, nine, deuce, two diamonds, four on the turn, four of hearts gets there. Let's get our man. I miss Chan. I miss him already. Let's get him back in here. Let's see what Daniel Negrano does. Can you, use, can you use hangouts? He does. Full, I probably could, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably could. That's a good idea. All right, Chance is back in the house. Chance, thank you very much. Let's get your share share screen. Burr, burr, burr. Host to save. Oh, you got to give me host. Oh, there you go. Good. I did. All right, cool. Perfect. We're good. I'm going to be real quick. I was just waiting for you to get back. Thank you. All right, back in the mix here. We're back. We're here. We're live. Brand new. Doug Polk first. Should I do a podcast again? I haven't done one in a while. It's true. You think it's time? I do one or what? Do you guys want me to do a podcast out there? Press one if you want me to come back with my Poker Live podcast. Press two if you want me to never do a podcast again. Well, it already has two. Unless huh? they're trolls. That's true. The Hulk's Hotel. What's up, man? Thank you very much for being here. James Hutt, Niall Simpson, Anton, Connor. 
Yeah, the tables have, have, have switched. I'm actually on tilt by this. Let me switch them back. Appreciate you guys all tuning in live. Thank you very much, my friend. Stuart Hasselhoff, Poker Pro Eric, Thomas Jackson, Chris Garl. Has DNX mentioned how much he's willing to potentially lose? We do not know how much he is potentially going to lose, but uh, we don't know. We don't know. Bill Perkins said if he thinks that Daniel's down a million, we might see the match continue. So I don't know. This looks like, uh, I don't know. How much do you think he's prepared to lose, Landon? What do you think? How much do I think Daniel's prepared to lose? How much do you think Daniel Grano cap his caps his losses at during this during this uh, this challenge? I don't know. Well, I'd probably think maybe like maybe like forty buy-ins, fifty mm -hmm. buy-ins seems like a the number. But wow, that's so much. I mean, that's it's a lot of dollars. It's a lot of dollars, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, could he lose left hand side? Doug picks it off with the seven six two pair sevens and deuces takes it down. Kevin Q, have I explained my long absence yet? I have not. We got some content coming, though. We're getting a lot of ones in the chat. It looks like, uh, I mean, we're not getting a lot of ones. They don't care. Podcast comes back. Right? We're keeping it retired. Right-hand side, river bet by Doug Polk. Standard two-thirds size. Both flush draws miss once again. Left-hand side, min bet from Daniel on the A-side board. We've seen that often. Did I miss anything good? Uh, not yet. No, not yet. We, I feel, I feel like something broke. We're going to try to manifest something here, guys. Let's put the smoke on. Let's give him some energy. Yeah, let's fire it up. Let's see. Let's see if we can manifest a big hand here, guys. We're looking for some blood. We have not seen. Oh, where are the glasses? Can you... We have not seen all in. Maybe Landon needs the glasses. Let's put them back on. Johnny Depp. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about card distribution earlier when the three bets are just going to war. I'm locked in now. Landon's locked in. The energy slowly building, slowly builds up, trying to manifest a big pot here in this hand. Our friends, our friends from across the uh, across the pond, they've actually stopped in. They they would like to wish a big pot here, bro. And there they are. They're wishing a big pot. They're <laughs> open for a big pot. They want to come out and celebrate. They want to do the dance. Daniel's Will they get their wish? Daniel takes a sit out here. It looks like it looks like he's going to take that small break that he does sometimes. Right hand side, big bet on the river. Trip aces for Dan Agrano as he wins a twelve thousand dollar pot, and oh, it looks like it we are going to have Daniel on a break. He is sitting out. Let's give a few shout outs, guys. We have not. We broke the five thousand mark earlier for viewers. Now we're at forty seven hundred. Give him some shout outs, Landon. Say what's up to the people out there. Mr. Scotty Steak, legend of the clip. Thank you. Kickboxing craze got this win. Okay, Nasty Nate from Cincinnati. What's going on, Nasty Nate? Bryce Gatewood, Eric Purevids, Liam Murphy, Bryce Gatewood. What's going on? Rakesh Karia, Fade7, JJ. Chance, you get yourself a blanket. Did you get yourself a blanket, Chance? He got a fucking blanket. Let's fucking Chance go. Chance got a blanket. He was really Dude, cold. My house is 68, my office is 72, and I'm still fucking cold. Yeah. That's not good, buddy. Maybe you should turn the heat up. What do you think? Have you met my wife? <laughs> Chance, you want to get some shout outs on that note? <laughs> shout out to Emily. I Emily. turned it up from 68 Yeah, listen, to I don't know. Emily starts like, yelling oh, at me. On. What is this? Yeah, yeah. Emily starts yelling at me. I know. Apparently, this is like a fucking drive through over here. Everyone's just getting up, walking around. Landon's going up, getting some peanuts while we're on break here, guys. What's going on here? Coxie to Foxy in the chat. Mark Burrow with the 10 donation. What's up? What's up? Robert Zotter, what's going on, man? Jonathan Branch in the chat. What's up? What's up? What's happening, guys? How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. We're on a break right now. Daniel Negreanu sits up about a buy-in or two, and we bring the Gorilla Gaming back out. Look at our Gorillas fighting on the table. He's ready to play some poker on this nice, beautiful Gorilla Gaming table. Look at that. He loves it. He's fired up there. He's excited right there. Check him out. You love the poker tables. Talked about them a bit earlier in the match, and now we're picking it back up. That last break also sponsored by our Afor, Afor, no, I don't know that word, De Doritos, of course. Doritos has always been a longtime sponsor of the Doug Polk for Stan Grano Heads Up Challenges here on my channel. Uh, we don't advise you to eat them, but they are a sponsor, so it is what it is, and that is, we're going to move on from that. You're not eating many Doritos on your diet, are you, Chance? Doritos? Yeah. God, no. No? I've probably had two Doritos in the last two years. Did you have a lot of Doritos growing up as a child? Um, some, yeah. Yeah. I used to eat, I eat them all like, the time. I healthy now. You what? If it wasn't for alcohol consumption, I would be, like, very, very healthy. But you, you're not quitting the wine, though. 
No, but I did buy sugar-free wine for the days before I play because of how much sugar fucks up your sleep cycle. Chance has a very beautiful uh, wine area in his home. It goes like underground. It's pretty sick. A lot of what? Not a nice wines down there. Chance is uh, him, Ben Lamb. I know Shane Sigsby. Those guys love drinking their wine. And yeah. uh, these guys yeah. are... Wine's really good. I mean, I've been drinking a lot of wine too. I couldn't recommend it enough to people out there who uh, want to become... want to get into alcohol. <laughs> I mean, I don't know to say. Yeah, I love it. It's love like it. by far my favorite. Yeah. Uh, off to consume. Poppy, did you like Tyson vs. Jones fight? I did watch it and I did enjoy it. And I look forward to seeing more Legends battle. It was terrible. Chance is out on the fight. That was yeah. awful. And it was just rigged to be a draw the whole time. Like that ruins it even more. Well, I'm not gonna make any I'm not gonna make any uh claims like that. I'm not looking to face any lawsuits from Roy Jones Jr. or Triller. Mike Tyson <laughs> the match goes on here, Dane and Ground <laughs> We are going to abstain from any comments from that. We are will abstain from any allegations of out of line activity taking place during a public event like that beautiful event. Left hand side, another three red from Daniel Grano as he has turned up the heat. Okie dokie says, Love your podcast show. Get it going again. All right, you know what? I'm coming back with the podcast. Okay, I'm off my phone. Sorry. Getting it back in. We're having company. I had to make sure everyone knew when to Are you on show acid today? today, buddy? What's going on? With you? What's Look at you. <laughs> are you chilling? Are you okay? You Do you know who he reminds me of right now? He rem who's he remind you of? Let's ask the chat. What epic movie main character does Landon remind you of right now? I'm big chilling right now. What what epic movie character does Landon Tice right now remind you of? This is the, fa the face of American poker, guys. Next generation. <laughs> this is my guy right here. Look at this kid. <laughs> Dude, my answer is so good. I hope someone gets it. <laughs> Should it be like a giveaway if the winner guesses what chance guesses, they win a prize? Uh, Rocky Bullshit says, do I read comments? I do read the comments. Shout out to, I love the comments. The people, the only reason I do these streams is because people like them, okay? So I love my chat. Shout out to everybody out there. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Uh, you know, when I'm not doing my streams, I'm usually kind of studying. I'm at home. I'm, I'm very quiet. Sometimes I get out of line. Let's move on. But yeah, I really appreciate the comments, guys. You guys are awesome. I know we got a lot of hardcore fans out there that have been supporters of the stream for a long time, supporters of my content. I always talk to him on Instagram, talk to him on Twitter. And uh, yeah, I love him very much, man. You guys are dope. And you make doing content very, very enjoyable. So I appreciate it. Another three bet here from Dean Eggs, left hand side, right hand side, small block bet from Daniel. This might be a I, spot. I don't see any guesses, so I'm just going to say who. <laughs> big, big raise. And not, not that big of a raise on the right hand side from Doug. Last time we saw him make this, make this raise, he made it a little bit bigger with the ace. I believe on the four claw four spade board left hand side three bet from Daniel C bet small in the king queen deuce nice board for his three bet range. It's true. Right Except hand side. 30%. Once again, Delg Polk shows down the nut flush. Delk keeps having the goods. Yeah. We've seen him do that multiple times with that ace of spades. Left hand side. Doug calls the small bet. Big bet on the turn from Daniel on the seven of diamonds. Doug's gonna have a good amount of continues. Oh, there's some answers. Okay. Oh, Hannibal Lecter was a good answer. The Big Lebowski. Yep, that was mine. The Big Lebowski. Yep. The I love dude. that movie. I love that movie. We're about to see a shove on the left hand side. Bet, bet from Daniel Negron after three betting pre flop. 31,000 in the middle. I'm oh, the here dude, we go. man. You need to understand Bombs that away. everything you do at the poker table. Fire, 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 more fire. Dana Grano is like officially trying to go on fire. If he wins this pot, $115,000 bet, 31000 effective. Doug Polk's in the tank. Maybe he's thinking about making a call with a hand like a queen 10. Maybe like Pocket an ace eights. high. Like an ace high. Maybe an ace high, Landon says. What is Doug Polk going to do? Dana Grano is attempting to back the truck up on Doug Polk and become official on get the, get the cyber fire the cyber status. Truck. What is going to happen? He calls with the queen. Ace king for Dan Agrano as he makes a bet. Doug does have that Let's weak queen. A big pot goes kid poker. Dan Agrano's way. And he is officially on fire right now. But Dan Agrano, $178,000. The fire is kicking. Boom, there it is right there. It's blowing up. We got one more foot. Boom, right there. The truck is officially off the rails on the left-hand side. Uh -oh as Dane Negrano is putting the pedal to the metal and the truck is derailing. The truck is backed up. The truck driver, Doug Polk, is off his rocker right there. The wood has fallen to the wayside as Dane Negrano wins a $177,000 pot. And by that, I mean he wins an $80,000 pot <laughs> and now has a $170,000 stack in his possession. 
Them's the swings right there. This is how it be sometimes. What do we think about his call on the river there? Chance, Queen, Jack. Two flush draws miss. We've seen Dan. You haven't seen him three barrel very often in those kind of boards. If there was a texture to do it, that seems I'm like one sure. to do it on. What do you think, Chance? I think, and Landon can tell me if I'm wrong here, isn't having a jack in your hand bad? Yeah, it's bad. Blocking the jack 10. And yeah, jack you're blocking nine. jack 10 and his jack. Yeah. And some jack 9 suited to three bets sometimes. I think he also had a, it was a jack of diamonds too, which is like not as bad, so to speak, because I don't think Daniel's going to be jamming with the jack of diamonds in his hand. Because like he's mostly going to give up with flush draws of like diamonds on the end. But yeah. having a jack by itself is definitely negative. Like you'd rather have like a queen low suited card, like unblocker, versus like a queen jack. Because like when obviously you know like when we're bluff catching, we want them to kind of have like the bluff portion of the range rather than like hands that like have some inherent showdown value, like a queen with a jack kicker. Because like a queen with a four or a queen with a jack is like effectively the same thing. Oh yeah, it's you'd much hat. rather have like queen four suited, right? Yeah, something like that. It's the hat. You you get, you're like a man possessed. It's the hat. I don't know. I, don't, I still don't know Chance's guesses with the hat, but I want to know. He said Big Lebowski. Oh, Big yeah, Lebowski, true. the he dude, Jeff Bridges. I'm the dude, man. <laughs> yeah. And Mark, I think you play the part well, too, you know? It's not Mark just the you. work, it's like the vibe. <laughs> Mark you're like, wait, chill back, <laughs> sitting in the corner. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> you're a vibe right now, bro. You're vibing right now. Right hand side, another pot, $10,000. Both flush draws miss. Both flush draws miss often on this website. <laughs> One of, my, one of my favorite parts from that movie is when uh, when I, I gotta get this mic back. One of my favorite parts from that movie is when uh, he drops the golf ball, the bowling ball on the floor. He goes, "What's this?" And he goes, "You're clearly not a golfer." <laughs> when he right drops, hand side, Doug Polk bets oh, trip wow. fives for value. Twenty three thousand dollars goes his way. Hundred thousand dollars stack. Landon is referencing a big Lebowski. The movie. What do you think, Landon? You like that movie a lot? It's a great movie. Great movie. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Yeah. It's putting me on the spot, Joey. My favorite movie is uh, The Fast and the Furious 1. It inspired me to become into cars. I start working on my car all the time. I start racing people in my Honda Civic and my Dodge <laughs> Neon before I got my BMW M3. And that was much faster in order to beat people on amateur street races at stoplights. <laughs> the Dodge Neon was not the car to do it in. Listen, four cylinder, four door, it is what it is. All right, head flames on the side. It is what it is. All right? I wasn't doing it. It is what it is. That's strong. I got to go with Shawshank Redemption. That's Shawshank, a good movie too. Okay, great movie. The Prestige is a pretty good movie. I like that Shawshank one. Shawshank Redemption, hiking through that. that the Prestige that, that, is good. That shit mud, I like that a lot. Casino, another great movie. Robert De Niro. You were you're in Casino. In that little, that little remake of... <laughs> <laughs> Right-hand side, overbet from Doug Polk. 8,398. Takes it down. Everyone type your favorite movies in the chat. Fast and Furious 1 LMFAO. Listen, calm down, Chris Brooks. All right? I don't know what you're talking about. That movie is straight fire. Heat. Vin Diesel. The come on. The Paul Walker. That's Look. the guy from The Pacifier right there. <laughs> <laughs> Most iconic movie of all time. Not really, but it's a good movie. Landon anticipating a raise on the left-hand side. <laughs> and he gets the raise on the Ace Ace 4-4. Doug Polk, $3,700. Let's see what Daniel does. If you don't have an ace, you don't have a four. You don't got much. <laughs> it's true. Say it. <laughs> Say, okay, I know. <laughs> Daniel does call. Ten on the river. We got a lot of nice uh, comments out there in the chat for their favorite movies. Daniel maybe has a king high. Of course, he could have an ace, could have a four. We got a lot of movies out there. Departed, The Town, Boiler Room, Memento, Pulp Fiction, True Romance. All great movies. It's true. We've seen Doug overshove in this spot before. Well, try to get uh, D next to pull the chop. Not this time though. Six nine hundred call Doug Polk. Er, er, out of line, out of line. Oh, Pocket deuces does not work out as Dan Negreanu takes down that pot, and we are going to get our first replay of the day, sponsored by the Big Lebowski. Sponsored by the Big Lebowski. That's right, the Big Lebowski. A, a Sponsored beautiful by movie the dude, yeah. is going to be coming out in theaters soon. Make sure you check out the Big Lebowski. Back in theaters. Big Lebowski is going to be back in theaters. That's right. And they are our official sponsor of the first replay of the day. And it's going to take place with Pocket Deuces here. Let's pull it up here, Chance. Let's check it out. Check it out. Let's check it out here. Pocket Deuces. Beautiful hand. Stinger race pot, you Doug, see that's the flop, gets called, the the turn, he has absolute D-O-double-G, he faces a lead, so Daniel leads the full house on the turn, causes Doug Polk to get a little bit 
out of line. He raises it up with the 3,700. Daniel calls and Doug blasts the head on the river, 6,900. Guys, what do we think about this play with the pocket deuces once Daniel calls that nice size raise on the turn? Not everybody at once. <laughs> Not everybody at once. <laughs> what do you think, Landon? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so deuces in that spot are basically unblockers to Daniel's bluffs himself. So he's hoping that Daniel finds a call on the turn with like king high and like some, maybe some other pairs, like pairs over fours, like five sixes, and then has those in his range. And Doug's basically just wrapping an ace and is unblocking all of Daniel's bluffs that he would uh, lead on the turn. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting spot when you have like two high. <laughs> it's hard to have deuce high. You know, it's hard yeah, to win yeah, the pot yeah, when you have deuce high. high. It's hard to have deuce high. Yeah, it's, it's a, that's a true statement. That's yeah. True. That's true. <laughs> it's the hat, you know? It's the hat. It's dropping knowledge like that. Right-hand side, three-bet free When bluff. you have deuce high, you probably don't want to bluff. When you have deuce high, you probably want to bluff. Deuce high. Can somebody make an infographic with Landon's photo on it? Landon, put your head by the camera. Can you guys, someone take a photo of oh, Landon of, of Land and put on infographic? You can't, you, you what would you say? What was the quote? If you have deuce high, you should probably bluff. If you have deuce high, you should probably bluff. Thank you, Landon. I would agree that's true. Did that. <laughs> right hand side, three bet pot by Daniel. Bets the turn as well. Doug raises small, $12,300. Once again, three bet pot, bet flop from Daniel. Doug, what is he saying he's got here, guys? A small raise, six on the turn. What could Doug Polk have? All in by call, bottom set. For Doug Polk. Yeah, Doug's got it. And Dana Grano has top pair, top kicker. That's no good. Three bet pot. Doug Polk flops the set. $80,000 pot goes to Supreme Leader's Way as Doug Polk finally picks up a hand to stack Dana Grano with this session. And he is up to 145000 on the right, 188000 on the left. Dana Grano only up about a buy in so far. He's still doing well. The truck driver, Doug Polk. Had to have been turned on on that turn bet. Made a small raise. Gets, gets jammed on. Instant calls. And uh, that's when you're poker hard. Isn't it? Yeah. 15? When you get a set and you get the stack. When you get a set and you get the stack. Left-hand side. Pay attention, guys. 36,000 in the middle. Daniel Grano shoves once again. Dun, dun. Here dun, we go. Dun, Doug Polk. Dun, 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 Might be dun, thinking dun. about making a loose call. Maybe with a 10. Queen 10. Queen 10, Queen 10, maybe a Jack, Jack 7. Let's see what goes on here. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, Dana Grano shoves all in, trying to get that stack back right away. 36,000 already in the middle. What is Doug Polk going to do? Chance, look at this. We have Carnage. Carnage is taking Carnage place. Is right. Doug Polk with a little comeback on the right. We have an absolute slugfest. <laughs> They're just going to war. Yeah. What is happening here? Doug is in the tank, guys. I think he has a 10, and he is thinking about making a hero call. He's getting a really good price. He does call with the 10. But he, it's you're no right. Good. I, I'm, I'm giving you the No, fist no bump. good. Dana Negrano, 7 8, has the straight, and Dana Negrano, just like that, takes back a nice size pot as Doug Polk was just like me he and thought straight. he had the 10. And we got to go back to the replayer. This time, sponsored by... Sponsored by... I got nothing, honestly. Dyra Zero. Sp no, we already have that one. Uh, okay, let's look at the hand. No sponsor for this one. So, <laughs> three bet by Daniel. With the 7-8, we literally said earlier, remember? 7-6, seven, 7-8, seven, maybe you shouldn't three bet that pot. What do we know around here? He flops... He flops Mexico. He's got that Mexican straight. 7-8 on 9-10 jack. He bets small. Duck calls with the 10-8. Middle pair, open and straight draw. Turn is a six. Doug calls another bet. Once again, River is the nine. Faces a jam for 22000 and 36000 And Daniel does get paid off after Doug tanks down. What do you think about that play, guys? I think it's pretty well played by both sides. Ch Chance, you Man. like that play by Doug? You think you can ever find a fold there with the 10-8? Probably. Probably, yeah. you think so? It's probably I next. just don't know if Negrani's bluffing off with like ace-queen here. It's true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we haven't... <laughs> we've seen it possible, but not 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 too much. And, of course, we haven't seen many hands go to showdown in these kind of situations. But Chance saying he doesn't think Daniel may be capable of bluffing, especially once the pot's already 36,000, 22,000 behind. Doug Polk. I mean, kind of, you know, calling station, of course. I think Doug, uh, yeah. What do you guys say? Uh, 
Doug does indeed like the Carl Rivers, and he's also getting a pretty good price. Getting 22k into what is that going to be like if he calls like 80k? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to do it. And uh, Dana Grano up to $230,000 on the left-hand side. He's Mexican he's straight. It up. Mexican straight, they say, is the uh, the third or worst straight. By they, you mean you. No, a lot of people say it. Have I you played Mexican down. poker before? What would you say? Have you played Mexican poker before? Uh, I played a little bit, yeah. Wait, yeah. what is yeah. that? What is it's that? pretty fun. Me and Ben got all drunk and played it at the Commerce some years back. What Somebody, is, what is oh that? Lots of brewing. We got a big seabed here for what is Mexican poker? Dean eggs. Do you want to tell Lando what Mexican poker is, Chance? Uh, I mean, God, it was probably 12 years ago. I don't even remember. Chance, you know this game called Merkel? No, is it a real game? No, it was a game that, that Chewie and some friends came up with, I guess, back in the day. Where it was like PLO, but everyone has a card. It's like heads up, and like you have like the six, so someone's like an eight. And if an eight comes on the flop, you have to bet pot. <laughs> that's Merkel. Does everyone know what card you have? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think if like you miss it and like the other person like catches it before you or something and like you don't do it, it's like you bet two pots or something. It's kind of crazy. That's Merkel right there. Well, picking up the action once again here as we discuss Merkel. <laughs> <laughs> this is brought to you by Merkel. Shout out to Merkel. Content, content. Uh, this yeah, is a game. great game of PLO and heads up battle space only. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gilliam M says, bro, do you ever update today's results? I do update today's results. Right now, Dana Brown is <laughs> right currently now. up about $100,000 approximately. That is today's results. Could be off by a few thousand dollars, maybe more, but okay, we're going to go Exactly. With it. It's approximate, right? Doug is going to let you know at the end. He, is, oh, he does every day. Big raise left-hand side, or small raise actually, That's on small, the river. Yeah. Doug leads two-thirds. Chris like Sigmund with the 10 seven. donation. Poppy, did you get out of line? <laughs> he did not. <laughs> well, well, listen, I mean, I got something to do. Nope. Uh, Chris, thank you for the question. No, I did <laughs> thank not. You for the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. No, I did not. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. No, I didn't. <laughs> With that said, Landon's mom might be moving to Las Vegas, okay? And we're trying to get her a job if she moves here. So we'll let you know if we're hiring, okay? Or let us know if you're hiring for a job. Chance, CLC hiring for anybody? Oh uh, not at the moment. We got a bunch of teams working at the moment. Perfect. Amen. Left hand side, couple stinger race pots here. Nasty Nate in the chat. What's up, Nasty Nate? As again, was always India poker for the win. LKS says I agree. I agree. You can take my mama if you want. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. You might, my, my stepdad might have something to say, though. You remember him, right? <laughs> you know, he'll take you down. I don't right? want no problems. Yeah, you don't want no problems. My, step, my stepdad's a, a former black belt uh, in, uh, in multiple uh, I don't want no smoke. martial arts. No smoke. No. So he, he is always trying to show me the moves. And the guy's 72 years old. Let's just say I don't want to be in close contact in a fight with this fucking guy. Okay, this guy's crazy. <laughs> He's like, all right, take by the ear, right? Put it, put your, take your finger in this, and take your finger in the thumb. Put it right on their ear right here and just rip down as hard as you can if you're if you're ever close enough to someone in there and they're trying to get I said That's the ear rip right there. I said okay. I said I, I probably, you know, maybe I'll regret doing that, but show me a couple uh, other nice uh show me a one finger tap right here. You put the one finger right in here to this part. Try it to yourself right here. Put in one finger and jam it in right there and see how you see how Dude, you my do. uncle Randy used to do that and he had this finger of death we would call it and he'd, he'd just go dunk. Yeah, that's 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 uh uh oh left hand side. Jack High takes it down for Doug Polk. Jack High. Sponsored uh, by Jack High. He called with a Jack High. Did he call? Did he call? Yeah, he bet. No, he just he just did he bet pot on the turn with the Jack High flush draw, didn't bluff river on the ace interesting. Yeah, showdown versus that five six right there, five eight. That's true. Takes down that pot, nice hand. Wow. Sometimes that's how it be. Kevin B says, Joey, can you describe poker in a sentence? I'm new to the sport. All right, so I hear so I would describe poker, specifically Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em, you get two cards in your hand, five cards come out on the board. There's multiple rounds of betting. There's pre-flop, there's the flop, there's the turn, and there's the river. And uh, yeah, people try to make the best hand. The best hand at showdown wins. But what makes poker so great is that you can bluff. So you don't always need to have a great hand, and especially Texas Hold'em, is that you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent. And over time, as you play against them, they develop patterns where uh, 
you're able to, to better identify their ranges. And then also as you play, you're able to better disguise your range too. So when people first start out playing, they don't necessarily know what they're doing. They're just putting in chips. Like they think uh, five, and 10 high is good because they just don't know any better. But then over time, as you lose with those hands more and more, you start to realize, okay, I want to have one pair. They I want to have then my put cards. in more money with 10 high because it's bad. <laughs> 10 high is no good anymore. Not because 10 high is good. What? You said that they put in money because 10 high is a good hand. Well, they think 10 high is a good hand, yeah. Right, but then they get better. And there's some good 10 high is not a good hand. Well, depends who they are. But yeah, most people do. Ideally, you want to find players that don't improve and that continue to call down with the 10 high. So that's probably what you look for. What is going on here? Where'd Chance go? Oh, he's back. Hello. Oh, Hi, Chance. <laughs> he's back. We're back. Where'd whoa, 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 whoa. We're here. We're live. That is a super complicated explanation for someone who doesn't know poker. Well, listen, I'm not a fucking professional breakdown poker, the definition of the game itself in a simple term. Chant, give it a shot, Landon. Poker in simple terms. Mm -hmm. You get two cards. There's a round of betting. Three cards come out on the flop. There's another round of betting. One card comes on the turn. That's another round of betting. And then the river appears. And then there's another round of betting. And then you show your hand down. And then if you win, if you have a better like, hand, you're going to win. And you can also bluff and win before the other cards come out. That's what I got. Chance, what is poker? Right, I, got, I, I can beat that. You got it, Chance? Uh, a game of limited information where the opponents are trying to decode the other one and make as much money as they can. Motherfuck. <laughs> a game of limited information where the opponents are trying to decode the other person as quick. What? I mean, maybe not, maybe the games you play, and I don't know about some of these games. Some of these people are going to play it. <laughs> yeah, those are some big words in there, Chance. <laughs> yeah, Chance. Jesus. Chance, you're trying to use some small words here, okay? No, I like that. Oh, okay. I like that explanation. This Thank is, you, Chance. This is a small word stream he kept it simple so you get both sides right you get one side you get the other side take those three answers put them together play them back and now you understand what the game we'll of poker is we'll see you at the 100 200 peel yep you know yeah i don't know that's a great honestly that's a great question i don't i don't have well, you a, could just like look up the definition and then we can read that okay okay i like where your head's at buddy okay. you're a smart guy i'm telling you that right now some people make up the definitions you just say go to google all right, the definition of poker. Poker is, is poker is any number of card games in which players wager over which hand is best according to that specific game's rules. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll start there. There you go. Simple enough. <laughs> yep, that's no limit poker right there. You're it's, god. It's kind of it's kind of like Fortnite, but but not. But it's kind of like Fortnite and tournaments in that there's a, a bunch of people buy in and then there's one big winner. That's tournaments. That's tournaments, I know. That's what I just said. That's tournament poker, Joey. That's tournament poker, correct, yes. Put this down a little bit. Nice. Look at this shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. I know. You guys gotta understand, I literally have 15 screens up on my computer, so as I'm trying to give an explanation, I'm also doing five, four other things, so <laughs> sometimes my explanations might not make much sense, and I agree. Give me a chance to sit down and one table it. Right now, I'm nine tabling. Ch how am, I, am I not nine tabling right now? I got a lot going on. You're nine, you're nine tabling non-poker stuff. I know. I got a lot going on over here on, on, on my side of things. Chance is like nine tabling right now. Check raise on the left-hand side by Doug Polk, 9,400. It's a big bet. Trying to get some momentum back here. Doug does get called. Rivers of five. Seven, nine gets there. Somebody has seven, nine. Doug Polk. The innocuous deuce on the turn. Attacks him on the deuce. The smoke billows up from the, from the ground. But it might not be that innocuous. It could be lethal. Dun, dun, All dun, in dun, for Doug dun, Polk. Dun, 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 dun. I knew it. He's scary. See? He's saying he's got him his flush draw. No, he's not. <laughs> he's definitely... He takes down the pot. $52,000. He's saying he has a now. really good hand, Joey. He's saying... I think he told me he, told me he had a flush draw, a really good hand. Or he had that blocker in a straight. Joey's been preparing for his heads up challenge that he's going to play. Yeah, I'm play I got a heads up challenge scheduled as well, too. What? I have a heads up challenge I'm playing. When? Uh, when uh, sometimes, sometime maybe in, in quarter uh, Q1 of 2021. Wow. Yeah, I'm playing against uh, Landon Tice <laughs> at heads up. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a bit. I'm going to play against him. It's going to be very exciting. I'm very, I'm very pumped up for the match. Are you? Absolutely. What are you talking about? Of course you are. How Wait, Landon, you do you even play the great game? No, no, no. We're playing Texas Hold'em. 
Yeah, he's oh, playing my God. game. Travis he's getting, he's getting coaching from me to beat me. Yeah, I'm gonna get coaching from Landon, and then also I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a match against against uh, my little brother, and Landon's gonna coach my little brother. Wow, that's strong. Wow, that, <laughs> that, 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 this is a new this is a new arrival to me. This this second challenge, I didn't know about this one. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> We're gonna let's set my little brother up with like a bunch of coaches, and then he, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna take too long for I shouldn't do that. He's got game game design to worry about. Let's not get him into poker. He's busy worrying about his Discord thing. Well, let's not. Yeah. <laughs> right hand side, twelve hundred dollar bet from Daniel Granu. Left hand side, pot size bet from Doug Polk after flop gets checked back. Turn gets called. Flush gets there on the river. Left hand side, big bet gets Last called. Last time he potted, he bet one point five. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we see the over bet here from Doug Polk. He definitely has some eight six in his range. Right hand side, Daniel bets the river. Possible scary river on the car on the river. Possible scary card on the river. Halloween, as Lane calls it. Halloween town. Left hand side, chance chance does call the over bet, and Doug takes it down. So that's probably why Daniel doesn't have a big. Uh, I mean, much raising range on the turn once facing a big bet. Because when he just calls, then uh, he's facing so much aggression on the river, so he's going to need to keep a lot of strong hands in that range. Yeah, I mean, you got to protect that turn calling range to be able to have some river calls. Mm -hmm. So is there a way for your opponent to, to, if you understand that, does that maybe, uh, how does that influence your strategy when you decide to bet pot? Yeah, I mean, I think that like at, that's one of the, like the adjustments that the people will make. So like that, I think that's a new thing that I've seen from Doug. There is pot turn one point five pot mm -hmm. river, and so like one of like Daniel needs to go in the lab now and figure out what his adjustments to that is. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I guess that's that's something you see a lot of heads up where if you're playing against a player for a, for an extended period of time, you might go in there, study a little bit, find different strategy and different textures, and then start implementing that strategy. Your opponent isn't used to it because you've been doing something else. And then therefore, if they're getting taken advantage of, they have to go try to figure out how to combat that strategy. And then you come back and possibly use a different strategy or a different approach on certain textures. So Yeah, like I think of it as rock, paper, scissors. So it's like you throw a rock and then after a while your opponent figures out like how to throw paper versus it. And then the like the best opponents basically they're like, Oh, there's paper, here's scissors. Mm -hmm. And so it's like it's really is just a cycle of how to beat each like each thing. Against some players, you really only need one strategy, right? You all got to do is throw a rock against them. They never really adjust yeah. fast enough to to, to even. Sometimes you throw enough rocks, and you know. And yeah, you just knock them out. You right? Knock them out. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh... That's why playing Phil has been so interesting because he's like incredibly strong at adjusting. He's so, a rock paper scissors so champion. So can you feel the adjustments when you're playing Phil in uh, in real time? No, of course not. He's too good. Yeah. Is it something once you go review your session or have somebody look at it, that's when you can identify, oh, he was changing that there or, or is that what it takes or what? Oh, no, I was just trolling. Like, you know, yeah. that's the whole goal is to notice immediately. Yeah, that's what I thought. But then you so like, say there's a texture right? that he like didn't check raise like at all on the flop. And then all of a sudden he like starts check raising that texture. Like you're going to realize it right away. Right. Okay. That makes like, sense. The other stuff, it doesn't converge as fast. So it's like, is he three betting a lot more today or does he just have some card equity distribution? So sometimes you have to wait to get to showdown to know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it really just depends. There's a lot of variance in that type of thing as well. Yeah, that makes sense too. You don't want to over adjust just because you see your opponent doing something a few times that match. It could just be, he's got very strong hands or the right bluff combinations. Yeah. Most of the time that's probably what happens is sometimes in a short sample, people just get very good hands over and over again and you might think that they're doing something different but they're displaying their ranges as they are mm -hmm. and then it's very easy to kind of get in your own head and think oh he's coming after me and maybe that might be true but in most cases it's probably not because making a holistic strategy change within one session is probably pretty par far-fetched right it's, it's mm -hmm. probably not the case that someone just instantly changed up their entire strategy in one session yeah that makes sense Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, little tweaks to each texture or more barreling or yeah. holding mm -hmm. in certain spots. Like it's those little tweaks that just happen like over and over. Yeah. So it kind of goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, I mean, that sounds like, uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds, it sounds real fun actually. I think maybe this has a Yeah. I, I'm actually surprised by how much I'm enjoying it. Like it's just, you know, you're going to war. I'm playing Cut, like yeah, I mean, Tiger Woods of poker from 97. Like he's 
one of the best. It's really fun. Yeah, I mean, Phil Galfon already taken down two competitors. Thought both both players were favored initially by uh, by some of the top guys online. Phil Galfon took down Benny Vidi, a, a great player at the Great Game, Pop Manoma, high stakes player, action freak as well, debatably one of the best Pop Manoma cash game players in the world. Galfon handled those, and now he's taken on my man Chance Corneth, who's joining us today for commentary. Challenge resumes tomorrow. Chance currently up $92,000 in the match. They played 16,000 hands. Holy shit. And they have about 19,000 more hands to go. So Chance yeah. has to stand a million dollar side bet. He risked 250 to win a million dollars. So Phil Gaffon gave him four to one odds. And uh, did you feel disrespected when you when you get four to one? Is that something that you're, is your blood boiling? Or are you just like, how, how does it feel? Because knowing, I, mean, I don't know, I, I can imagine how you felt, but. <laughs> not exactly how it happened. So like Phil issued a challenge to coaches and no one took it. Like Jay Nandez took it and decided like changed his mind. Um, and then when he changed the odds from three to one to four to one, no one took it. And I like started to talk with Johnny actually. And he's like, dude, you should play him. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So you, so so you hopped just, in the mix. I mean, hey, you know, I think, yeah. it's, I think it's a great challenge, especially if, uh, for you to try to prove yourself right, try to make a, a bigger name for yourself in the community. Obviously you got your website, Chip Leader Coaching going on too. So it's great publicity for the business and kind of, uh, and if you win, right, I think that, you know, it, it lets people know, I think you're already one of the top poker players and a great poker player, but the perception of people that might not be familiar with your results is gonna be one thing before the challenge. And then if you're able to actually have a successful challenge against Phil, I think people are all of a sudden, right? Their perception of your overall ability is gonna change. They're gonna be aware, well, this guy is super sharp at PLO. so. They might check out some of the Nolan Holden content, and uh, and yeah, I think it's just a real good idea, and it's uh, it's fun to see you having success with it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's been a blast. See yeah. how the, the second half goes. Yeah, I mean, we still we still got a while to go. Yeah, a long way to go. It's just what I keep saying. Like even after winning, you know, it's just like you never yeah. know what's going to happen. Couple of pots here, Bruin. Left hand side, Dean Eggs raises the river on the fourth spade. We've seen the ace of spades here multiple times. Doug's gonna call and Dinex is just gonna have an air ball <laughs> after D after Doug had it both times. Yeah, I mean, like heads up is just so fun to play and just kind of like me. I'm kind of getting into heads up a little bit more. It's like can't wait. It's so much more fun. You know, you just get to play so many more hands. You get I know. To get more Eighty percent of hands. Yeah. You get to see a hand where you think to yourself, oh, like this seems like a pretty fun hand to like try something new with. Like have like a nice like three bet bluff. Have like a nice all in. Ooh bluff all that kind of stuff you know mm -hmm. Spicy. it's a great game yeah it does sound fun it's a great game left hand side it's not the great game but it's a great game it's a great format how about a, a great game it is a great game the great game of heads up no limit yeah, yeah. heads up is just such a pure beautiful form so, of poker yeah. the pure game how about that hmm. no it's not the same the same ring to it but it does I, I see where you're coming from i, I don't hate it I kind of hate it. Yeah, I kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't hate it, but I hate it. I don't, it. Hate, it. I don't hate it, but I'm I fucking I'm hate it. The name, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, it's a name. It's an. It is a name. It's a name. Whether or not it's good or not, that's in the question. It is what it is. It is what it is. Left hand side, <laughs> Daniel three betting. <laughs> Picking up the three bets again. Let's see it. <laughs> Ramping it up. The three bets. The three bet power is starting to come up. Is that a picture of Chan? Did you uh, move your camera to get you and your wife in in the shot here too? No, she was there the whole time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Animal must be right. kicking in. I mean, listen, I'm not, I didn't see the, I saw the trophies. I was blinded by the trophies. Stuff. It's got, let's see, he's got a picture next to an elephant down the left hand do? side. What is this photo? Is, like a, is he on a giraffe or something? What is that? Yeah, he's on a giraffe. He might that, be. It might be like a jungle. Wait, which one? This what, one? Yeah, what is that one? Um, are you, are you in a, in a jungle? In a desert? Not exactly. We're in the, oh. We're in yeah. Chicago the day we got married. On a giraffe, huh? <laughs> Dude, the edibles really are kicking in, Joey. <laughs> Left hand table, let's move the on. The edibles really Big are kicking in. Big bet from Dana Negreanu, 16,000 on 21.3. That's a giraffe sized bet, Joey. Let's go, D Negs. Beat his ass. It kind of looks like a giraffe, honestly. I mean, I can't really see it. He does call. River's at ace, guys, and we That's got Halloween the big town. pot brewing here. Halloween Town. Halloween Town, dun, right dun, here. Dun, 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 the fireman, Dana Negreanu, <laughs> is ready to go on fire right now. Doug Polk reeling on the left-hand side. Ooh, Dean Eggs checks it. Is he is he being is he, tricky? Is he being uh, tricky? I don't think being, so. I can see him having being, some check calls here, though. Is he being Both a trick master? Matches. The energy builds up. Fifty-three thousand in the middle. Doug Polk might have no choice but to exercise his right to go <laughs> all in. To fight in for his right to party. Fight for his right. Seven-eight offsuit. He's, he's all in. Seven-eight offsuit. Daniel. 
What's he going to do? Will he make a light call? The energy builds up. Danny Negrano looking to catch Doug Polk, the truck driver, the delivery man, the bag man, Mr. Drive, getting out of line here. The bag man. What will happen? Danny Negrano in the tank. He's like, making, thinking about making a thin call. Maybe a king high. Maybe. Maybe a six. Maybe. Probably not a six. Oh. that big on the turn. What is Danny Negrano going to do? He's, he's sitting there. He's weighing it over. If he calls these and he loses, the session's over. These SPRs are so weird. Like, this, like, 0.6 pot size bet on the river. Danny Negrano in the tank. The truck driver, Doug Polk, attempting to back it up. Doug Polk, 7-8. The truck moving into the station right now. What, watch it just be the aces, slow roll. He calls A7 for Doug Polk. He turned, he turned the nut flush draw, river's top pair, shoves it in, Dana Grano tanks down, calls with the jack nine, and just like that, a $120,000 pot goes Doug Polk's way as Dana Grano gets unlucky with that river card. Maybe could have got away with on a diamond. Couldn't get away on the offsuit ace. And just like that, Doug Polk back in today's match. He comes through and pierces the shit out of his car. <laughs> And he takes down a $120,000 pot. And D-Nex is going to GG, it looks like. Sit out. We have seen him come back yeah. after these hands. Now he types, though. Nope, he has typed it in. This might be it for He's today's match. He's typed it in. He's typed it in. And it looked like he had a nice lead. But I would say right now. Probably even, maybe? I would say it's probably close to even. Doug Polk. Battles back. He rolls I said back. if he calls and loses, the session's over. Chance yeah, knows, Chance, you know? Chance knows. He knows how these heads-up matches go. Yeah, that's that, all I that, would do. That looks like a GG, my friends. That's and Danny Negrano yeah, has yeah. closed out. And and with that, we will close out here as Doug Polk takes down yeah. the victory. We want to thank everyone in the chat for tuning in. 5,000 strong. We, Make sure you smash the like button on the way a, out. Do we do a dance for that big pot at the end? Leave us a comment if you want it. Landon <laughs> wants to play a dance right now. Do Let's you guys think we should play a dance before we go? Please let us know. We have to find a different song because apparently the copyright is a problem. Yeah, it's true. It is copyright in that song, but it's okay. We, we do like that song. We're going to put on a song right now to go out on my friends. Chance has to dance with us. Thank you very much for tuning in. I think this is my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Chance has to dance. We're going to find out. We're going to put something on here, guys. And uh, get the cat jam going. We're going to find out. Hey, where's our cat jam? Where's cat jam? God bless America. Wait for it. Are you ready for this? Chance must dance. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> We're going on this song today, guys. This is not the music we expected it to be, to be honest. It's coming. Is it? Yeah. song guys no. this really this really isn't i gambled on a song a non-copyright hindu song and Let's i missed hindi and i missed out we'll try one more and then i'm wrapping this up Move it up like What are 
are these songs? We need better songs. This song is this song is terrible. This is the worst song I've ever heard. Chance is not having it. Chance doesn't know what's happening right now. He sees a cat jam in the middle. That's it. I'm disrespect. I disrespected yeah. myself today, guys. We're wrapping it up. Chance, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, it was fun. Chance will be back with his Gallop on Challenge tomorrow. Catch all updates. Chance, where can they go if they want to get updates on the challenge or updates on the upcoming, the upcoming uh, uh, content and training that you have at Chip Leader Coaching? Go to clcpoker.com. We'll send weekly updates, and uh, I'll also be sending tweets and Instagram stories as to where to watch the daily streams, and it's at Chance's Cards on both. So it's at chances cards on both. You know what, Landon? I can't leave him like that. <laughs> we ain't going out like that. Chance, we can't go out like that, buddy. We ain't okay? going out like that. <laughs> I'm just, I can't, I can't let it happen, guys. We ain't going out like that. <laughs> we'll take the copyright. <laughs> That's what we got. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the telecast today. Enjoy your money. Okay, Chicago Joey, Chance Corneth, Landon Tice, the line himself. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everybody very much. Be back on Wednesday, 5 30 p.m. Eastern time. God bless America. God bless America. God bless everybody. <laughs> Appreciate you.